presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... Test, 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 test. anywhere at any time to anyone it's not really something you can schedule on your calendar but when it happens to you and it's not your fault there's one law firm to remember that firm is Schweigert Clemine and McBride we live here and take pride in helping our community we know this area inside and out we put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you that is what we're all about we're on your side we're Schweigert Clemine and McBride when it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Uh, there's a look at Sid Sitchi Stadium in Fargo. We're getting set for the 3A semifinals in the state of North Dakota, and it couldn't be any better. A 25th Street rivalry game. These two teams separated by just blocks in Fargo. And tonight, for the first time in postseason play, they get a chance to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for a right to play in next week's Dakota Bowl. Hi again, football fans. Todd Domery is joining you from Fargo tonight for the Fargo Davies Eagles and the Fargo Shanley Deacons. Davies 6-4, impressive victory last week 
against the Bismarck Demons on the road were the Eagles, and Shanley took care of business at home against West Fargo, and it sets the stage for tonight's 3A semifinals here on the home field of the Shanley Deacons. Should be a dandy, and boy, and you couldn't get two polar opposite teams as Fargo Shanley, they don't huddle. They just pass it all over the field. About 80% of their offense is through the air. And Fargo Davies, the exact opposite. They will drip that play clock down and they will run the football and they will run the football. They will try to control the clock. And so they often say that styles make fights and that's exactly what's going to transpire tonight here at Sid Sitchi Field in Fargo as we're on our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Timely services that won't slow you down, no appointment needed. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change at Valvoline Instant Oil Change locations in Minot and Bismarck. You can find them online at VIOC.com. So much more to come as our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show rolls on. We'll dig into the keys to the game tonight. We'll talk about the 3A bracket and set the stage for the other action tonight across the state of North Dakota. We'll give you a couple players to watch and we're getting set for kickoff, a 25th Street Showdown game tonight from Fargo. More of our pregame rolls on after this break on the PSP Network. bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Your business or your home across the town or across the country we know it can be stressful to ensure your possessions arrive on time intact and on budget make your move with jobbers moving and storage jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move with our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule with locations in Bismarck Fargo Minot and Aberdeen jobbers moving and storage is your choice visit jobberswarehouse.com it's jobbers moving and storage
Good to have you join in the PSP Network tonight. 3A semifinals, Sid Sitchi Stadium is the venue. The Fargo Davies Eagles, six and four on the season. Three straight wins for the Davies Eagles, all coming in the capital city. They defeated Legacy, Century, and Bismarck High in succession. Fargo Shanley, defending state champs from a year ago, and their undefeated, unblemished this year are the Shanley Deacons. Two teams separated by just about a mile or so, and they will go toe to toe tonight. This is our Valvoline Instant Oil Chains pregame show. We know you're busy. Visit our service center. We don't waste your time or ours. Our technicians can typically perform an oil change, a full service oil change in about 15 minutes at Valvoline Instant Oil Change locations in Minot and Bismarck. You can find them online at VIOC.com. All right, let's take a look at that 3A brackets and the results from last week. As we mentioned, Shanley, the number one seed, took care of West Fargo. Bismarck High and Davies went to battle. Davies coming out on top 15-7. to seven. Cheyenne blasted Century. Cheyenne's the two seed, 41-21 was the final there. And Minot High School, 23-14 victors over the Mandan Braves. So it sets up our action tonight, and you can catch all these games on the PSP Network, live streaming them through a special arrangement with the North Dakota High School Activities Association. We appreciate the folks over in Valley City giving us an opportunity to bring you both these games tonight. Shanley, obviously number one, will take on the number five seed Fargo Davies in our game here and uh, across town, a couple miles to the west at West Fargo Cheyenne High School, the Mustangs will square off against the Minot Magicians. Number two seeded Cheyenne will take on Minot High and number three seeded. Our game here kicks off at about six o'clock. That's a seven o'clock start, about a 6.30 pregame Nick Holberg, Dean Wilson with the call on the PSP network across town. There's a look at your 3A semifinal bracket. And a reminder that, uh, hey, we got Dakota Bowl coverage coming next Friday from the Fargo Dome. We'll get started with breakfast at the Fargo Dome. Nine man, single A, 2A, 3A championships. You got the 2A games and the semifinals going on tonight, of course. Nine man and single A championship games tomorrow afternoon across the state of North Dakota. And we'll have wall-to-wall -wall digital radio coverage for you from the Fargo Dome of all four state championship games. Be sure to like and follow us on our social media channels of Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram as well. And you can catch up with everything that PSP is doing to promote and enhance local athletics in the state of North Dakota. That's what we do. We like to promote and highlight local athletes as pretty nice night for football as uh, just under 40 degrees, 39 degrees about game time temperature and it was about a 15 mile an hour wind when we showed up today but that is supposed to dial dial down into the single digits and the conversation about well who does the weather favor obviously the calmer and the more benign conditions will favor the Shanley Deacons then I guarantee you if you talk to anybody from Fargo Davies they would have preferred to play this baby in a hurricane because they will play two tight ends. They'll put three running backs and they will try to jam it right down your throat. And that's what the Fargo Davies did last week is they imposed their will on the Bismarck Demons and had the football for almost the entire fourth quarter and played keep away from Bismarck High School. And that's what the Fargo Davies MO uh, is going to be tonight against the high powered Shanley offense that hardly has you taking a breath. Uh, Hey, we don't need a color person tonight because uh, the color guy doesn't even have a chance to operate when Fargo Shanley has the football because they like to throw it. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the things that stood out to me as I was digging into this game, there's two guys for Fargo Shanley that have more receptions than Fargo Davies has completed passes on the season. Let me say that again. There's two receivers for Fargo Shanley that have more catches than the quarterbacks for Davies have completed passes. So that just tells you right there when you got one team that likes to run it about 80% of the time and the other team that likes to throw it about 80% of the time, you got contrasting styles and we'll see how that plays out tonight here on the PSP Network. While we're closing in on the starting lineups, we're closing in on the kickoff. We'll have our player previews and we'll also dig into the numbers and have much more of the matchup here. We'll highlight the Fargo Davies Eagles and their head coach, Wayne Wermeyer, and the Shanley Deacons, and their head man, Troy Matter. We'll do that and much more after this break. Our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show rolls on. Timely services that won't slow you down. No appointment needed. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. 25th Street rivalry game coming up here in a few minutes on the PSP Network. Right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. 
At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers moving in storage. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar, but when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. Now there you get a look at the north goalposts here at Sid Sitchi Stadium. You can see those flags have pretty much fell damp now as uh, the wind is dying down. Temperature getting a little bit cooler, but a perfect night for football here on a new turf field that they just installed earlier this fall here at Fargo Shanley High School. All right, let's talk about uh, the numbers, the tail of the tape, so to speak. And we said styles make fights, and here you're going to see it as there's your records. Davies six and four, Shanley undefeated at 10 and 0. Conference record, Davies was one and two, Shanley undefeated. Final rank in the poll, number five versus number one. And number one in the East, number three in the East, number one in the poll, number five in the poll. And then uh, points for uh, obviously Shanley, more high powered offense and the QRF rankings. And maybe your X factors tonight as we get into our keys to the game brought to you by Northern Plains Heating and Air. They're your factory authorized dealers for AeroSeal and uh, also the uh, keys to the game tonight brought to you by ServPro. Trained technicians, advanced technology, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's ServPro. Yeah, you know, you think about it and uh, hey, Davies is gonna have to be turnover free tonight. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily an upset. These two teams played back on October 6th and it was a hard fought win for Fargo Shanley, 42 to 28. But Fargo Davies folks led midway through the third quarter, 28-21 before Shanley rattled off 21 straight and so you get a chance to um, maybe redeem that says uh, I know that uh, the Davies Eagles were looking at a chance to take down uh, Fargo Shanley and that was their number one goal for the season put the 25th Street Trophy back where they think it belongs at Fargo Davies and obviously Sh Shanley's trying to protect their home turf and get a chance to get back to the Dakota Bowl and go back to back in 3A after they made the jump to double A uh, from double A back in 2019 is uh, so Shanley has had the the bullseye on their back the entire season and Fargo Davies looking for out say a, be a mild upset tonight says there's your numbers and the tail of the tape on our Valvoline instant oil change pregame show they got locations in Minot and Bismarck you can find them online at vioc.com well, we're just getting ready for Fargo Davies to come back out and make an appearance. Obviously, you're looking at Shanley right there as they'll have their home blacks on the night with the red numerals and the black helmets, black pants. And Fargo Davies, as you saw earlier, is going to be outfitted in their road whites outlined in maroon and gold. And uh, a lot of fans have filed in. You got a good contingent of Shanley fans and uh, Fargo Davies fans here in South Fargo getting set for this one. 
We'll take a break and we'll come back with those aforementioned player profiles. We'll talk a little bit about Zach Lilly, the talented running back for Fargo Davies. And how about a view of Sam Oshak, uh, the number one receiver for that high powered Fargo Shanley offense. We'll have that and much more as our pregame brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change rolls on from Fargo. 3A Summer Finals on deck coming up next here on the PSP Network. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Banking is some of the most important things in your life, and banking at the right bank is very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people, and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them, and try to do things to help make our communities better. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do. And we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. That's our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Todd Darmery's back with you at Sid Sitchi Stadium. We've got the whole team out tonight. Luke and Landon Darmery's running the camera for us. Srinath Kanduru as uh, our spotter tonight. And good to have you tuned into the PSP Network for our 3A semifinals. You get a look there at one of the key guys for the Fargo Shanley Deacons. We jump into our player profiles is Sam Oshak. 87 catches, team high, 1,354 yards in the season, 19 touchdowns. He is electric. If you remember back to last year's semifinal game at Mandan, Sam Oshak made some huge plays that sunk the Mandan Braves and sent Fargo Shanley to the state title. Is uh, He's also a multi-sport athlete, uh, played for the state championship Fargo Shanley um, South hockey team, uh, first team All-Stater from a year ago. And uh, he, is, uh, he is a talented young man, and you'll hear a lot of Mr. Sam Oshak tonight for the Fargo Shanley Deacons. There's a couple things more about these teams as uh, Fargo Davies won Dakota Bowl appearances. That was back in 2014 when they won the state title and uh, defeating Minot 41 to 10. Of course, Fargo Shanley has a decorated football history here as uh, 25 state titles dating all the way back to the 30s, culminating most recently in a 3A title in 2022 when they uh, pretty much whitewashed century last year in the state championship game, 48 to seven. It was their first big school championship since 1983 for the Shanley Deacons. And uh, hey, Fargo Shanley, um, you know, they're uh, playing on this new turf and looking to continue a streak that they've had against Fargo Davies. Uh, they lead the all-time series now five to three. We mentioned the last time that Fargo Shanley Fargo Shanley won 42-28. Last Davies win in this matchup was a 42-27 win back in 2020. So we'll take a timeout and we'll come back with the starting lineups. We're getting close to the opening kick here from Sid Sitchi Stadium. Davies and Shanley, more after this timeout on the PSP Network.
for decades. Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with The foundation of the financial planning approach at Legacy Financial Partners is a personal relationship. Our unique and collaborative approach to financial planning starts with your dreams, not just the numbers. We will work with you regularly to take action to update your plan as your needs evolve, recommending products and services that are right for your situation. Uh, getting set for Fargo Davies and Shanley, a crosstown rivalry game for the right to get to the Dakota Bowl or a Valvoline instant oil change pregame show rolls on. Let's talk a little bit about now. We might not be able to get a good profile of them here, but we're going to try to find uh, one Zach Lilly, the leading rusher for Fargo Davies, 1,100 rushing yards, 14 touchdowns. Another multi-sport athlete is a second-team All-State running back from a year ago. He also finished third in wrestling this year, or last year, uh, wrestling 195. Uh, so tough, talented kid, Zach Lilly. And you're going to hear a lot of the running backs tonight for Davies. It's a four-pronged attack with Chasik, Lilly, Brewer, Weirmeyer and Lorenz will kick in some carries there as well. And so that's a group that um, they're going to run the football a ton tonight for the Fargo Davies Eagles. Davies will have the football first as we morph into these starting lineups. Let's take a look first at that Davies defense up front in that 4-3. Peter Havelka is a left defensive end. Riley Lang is your nose. Andre Work is a senior tackle, all EDC performer from a year ago. Gunnar Majerus is your defensive end. Three linebackers are good ones. Malachi Wehrmeyer is a junior. Zach Lilly, the returning second team All-Stater, is a senior linebacker. Nick Hasbargen is a senior linebacker. Your two corners are Daniel Yorkie, a senior, and Liam Wicklow, a junior. Luke Lorenz, the free safety, and Grant Chasick, the first team All-State D-back from a year ago for fourth-year head coach Wayne Weirmeyer. And the Spargo Shanley offense will take the field first. They'll look like this up front. Your left tackle, a two-year starter, Carter Mitchell's a senior. C.J. Johnson's a sophomore left guard. Isaac Butler's a good one as a center. And another two-year starter, 270-pounder, so he anchors that line. And then um, got a change in the uh, lineup here tonight. As, uh, Make sure I get that exactly right for you. Nick Keel uh, starts at right guard tonight. Luke Rogan is your right tackle. And then your wide receivers and backs. Caden Christman, he's a talented electric player. Sam Oshak is a senior receiver. Fisher Hannison, Jordan Leininger. Adam Leininger is back in the lineup. Missed some games earlier this year. And Ivik Perker... Perker, Perker, Perker Rebic is, uh, we got that official pronunciation uh, earlier today. Perker Rebic is, uh, he will run the football a lot. And then you've got Landon Meyer, the quarterback, uh, taking over from Michael Rosberg from a year ago. And uh, he's only thrown for 3,000 yards this year. So pretty good understudy there for Landon Meyer. And, of course, head coach Troy Mattern in his seventh season. All right, we're just about set for football, folks. Thanks to Valvoline Instant Oil Chains for bringing our pregame show tonight. We know you're busy. Visit their service center. They don't waste your time or theirs. Their technicians can typically perform an oil change in about 15 minutes. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. And have been selected for their All right, get a look at that Shanley huddle, that uh, kickoff return team. I don't like kicking at any of these guys. You start getting Caden Crispin back there, Leininger and others, and uh, there's a lot of speed and talent in Fargo Davies. Thompson Fisher will be doing the kickoff to honors. Yeah, it looks like actually um, won't be Fisher tonight. As Davies looks like Luke Lorenz is going to be putting it on the tee and putting a boot to the leather. 
I like the looks of the new field. That Deacon logo stands out. Officiating crew is ready. Chrisman and Oshak back deep to receive. Lorenz is just about ready to get us underway here from Sid Sitchi Stadium. 3A semifinals. Fargo Davies in those road whites outlined in maroon and gold hats. Davies in the home blacks. Lorenz with a run up and we are underway. Kick is going to be fielded by Oshak at the 15, 20, 25, far sideline 30. And he gallops, and he's going to be finally ushered out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. So pretty good field position. They're going to mark him out officially at the 41-yard line, and here comes that Fargo-Shanley offense. Landon Meyer, your 190-pound senior QB, gets that single, and might be the only time Fargo-Shanley huddles in this possession. Whatever win there still is, uh, Fargo Shanley is just barely into it. As I apologize, got to get off that uh, pregame graphic, and there we are. First and 10 for Fargo Shanley. Meyer will be out of the gun the entire night. And immediately you get some movement up front. Going to be an early whistle and a penalty. And it looked like the nose guard, Riley Lang, jumped into the neutral zone, and that will give... Fargo Shanley a free free five. I like to call hey, Shanley. You know that uh, your crosstown rival is going to be jacked up, and you come out and go to the hard count and get a quick penalty whistled on Fargo Davies. There first, snap back, handoff, Leininger nowhere to go. He is belted down for a loss of three. Zach Lilly first gold hat there to send them down for officially a loss of two. After the penalty and a loss of a couple, it's second down and seven. Kind of bad timing there as Meyer's going to throw deep for Oshak near sideline into the Shanley bench. Incomplete. Step for step there with him was Landon Chasik. The corner, check that, the free safety. Not, not Landon Chasik, beg your pardon. Grant Chasik, the free safety. Step for step with Sam Oshak. Well, Shanley doesn't like to punt, folks, so he'll probably go for it any, anyway. It's third down and seven now from the right hash mark. Meyer out of the gun, snaps his hands, snap his back, little swing pass too far in front of Sam Oshak. It was a forward pass, falls incomplete. Fargo Davies, good coverage provided out there by Andre Work. He was the closest Davies from his uh, interior defensive end position, but he got out there to contest at least and make that play difficult for Shanley. Well, we mentioned that Shanley doesn't like to punt very much. Landon Meyer will sometimes pooch kick these as now you got fourth down and a long seven. They motion, snap back. They pump. Meyer's going to run and scramble. Now he has to ditch it out, and he's got a man. No, incomplete. Off the hands of Caden Chrisman at the 38-yard line. It looked like it was Nick Hasbargan on the coverage, and it was indeed Hasbargan on the coverage, and an early turnover on downs. And how about the field position now for Fargo Davies Eagles? Let's take a look at that offensive unit. As first off, uh, you'll have up front Aiden Kizer, Grant Wermeyer, Andre Work, Blake McCarthy, Holden Witte. Majerus and Gerlock are your tight ends. Brewer, Wehrmeyer, Chasik, Lilly, and they got a full house backfield. Brewer sets them down. And they'll turn and just hand it off on a dive play off the left side. Get a couple yards there, does Fargo Davies. Zach Lilly with that initial touch. He gets two. There was quite a few Fargo Shanley hats there as you got Luke Rogan, Nick Keel, Carter Mitchell, Holden Deutsch up front for Shanley as they play a 4-2-5 defense. Leininger and Crispin, your backers. Perkerevich, Leininger, Oshak, Binnick, and Fisher Hannison in the secondary. Brewer with a couple tight ends, second down and seven. And this time the handoff goes to Malachi Wermeyer. And he is stacked up as well. Maybe a gain of one. So many black hats in there, it's actually hard to pick out who's uh, filling the holes there for the Shanley defense. We're just going to start picking somebody. <laughs> third down and eight. Now make it third and a seven officially just underway on your BNC Bank scoreboard scoreless with 10-15 to play here first quarter. 
Davies with a little win at their back, and they've got a third down and seven from the left hash mark. They'll motion and fake a pitch back to pass. Brewer, double move. They've got somebody out there. No, incomplete. A little too far for the intended receiver, Malachi Wermeyer. As Brewer overshot him at the 20-yard line, he had a step behind the corner, Sam Oshak, but that pass sailed with that wind behind the quarterback, Gage Brewer. Well, now in plus territory, you wonder if Fargo Davies is going to go for it. They got to get to the 33-yard line for a first down. It's fourth and a long seven. Same formation. Brewer ducks under center. They'll motion Wormeyer. They fake a pass. Now a screen to the backside. Pass is caught. First down rumble. 30, 25. Knocked out of bounds is Grant Chasick. But a big play and a first down. As Fargo Davies, the screen is completed. And just like that, a first down upcoming for the Davies Eagles and they've entered the Serve Pro Red Zone. Serve Pro with 24 by 7 emergency service, trained technicians, advanced technology, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Serve Pro. First and 10 Eagles. First drive of the game for Fargo Davies. Brewer gives it off to Wermeyer. Not a lot there running between the tackles thus far for Fargo, Fargo Second down and nine for the Eagles. Fargo Davies is he's tackled there by Christman and also given assist to Carter Mitchell on the interior. Pickup of one for Wurrameyer. Clock drips down to nine ten. I make it nine fifteen and counting here. Second down and nine. Brewer, a little cross buck action in the backfield. They'll give it off to oh, Wurrameyer again, and boy, not much there. That defensive interior for Shanley has been Keep stout. Looks like go. the big fella, Nick first Keel, down. one of the first guys off the stack there. No gain on the play. Third down and nine. Well, That's kind of how the first, the, the first uh, set of downs started for Davies. They didn't get much on first and second down, then went to the air on second and third down. Check that third and fourth down. Now it's third and nine. In the serve pro red zone are the Davies Eagles. Brewer this time straight ahead dive. Zach Lilly tripped up the line of scrimmage. He falls ahead for maybe one. It looked like Christman was in there again on the tackle. Is I got a decision. Davies, you know, they'll, they'll kick a little bit, so obviously, um, but they're going to go for it here. Slight breeze at their back. Can they convert another fourth down? This time it's fourth and seven from the 16. They got to get in just inside the 10 for a first down. Brewer. Little option play, trying to get to the perimeter. Pitches it out to Chasik. Eludes one man, but I think he's going to be just short. Good tackle in space. And they're going to mark Chasik just short. Landon Mitchell, along with Jordan Leininger, deny that Chasik run. And my, oh my, an early stop on downs for both teams. The defense is stiffening here. You can tell these two teams know each other. <laughs> There's uh, not a lot of extra space for these two running backs, uh, quarterbacks to operate. And neither team budging an inch. Shanley will take over. 7.42 to play in a scoreless first quarter on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Now motion lining her, straight ahead run. And there goes the quarterback, Meyer. He's loose to the 30, sprinting to the 40. Midfield 50, 40, finally pushed out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Landon Meyer tracked down by Luke Lorenz, but a huge gain for the Fargo Shanley Deacons. I just got the tail end of that on your Ryan Family Dealerships replay. 
into the serve pro red zone. A swing pass goes to Leininger. Makes one man miss in space at the 20 yard line. And Adam Leininger, good to have him back if you're a Shanley Deacon fan, as Landon Meyer hit him. He's tackled by Zach Lilly. Gain of seven on the play. Second down and three. Shanley on the move. Oh, now they're going to get a false start. Is That was Carter Mitchell. It's going to be a five-yard penalty right there is from the left hash mark. Shanley has moved it into the serve pro red zone. And that five-yard penalty, the first of the night against Shanley, will set him back to the 19-yard line. And they'll make it second down, and we'll call it eight. Adam Leininger will flank Meyer out of the gun. A couple receivers left and right from the left hash mark. Second down and eight, snap back. Meyer hit as he throws off the hands of his intended receiver. Fisher Hannison had his paws on it. Coverage, sticky coverage there provided by Liam Wilco Wilklow. Hannison uh, passes a little bit behind him, but uh, Wicklow had jumped that route. And I think if Meyer would have thrown it where he wanted to, that could have been a pick. Motion by Adam Leininger. This time Meyer wants to run it right between the tackles. Now he bounces it outside, gets inside the 15-yard line. Powell drives his way down close to the sticks. They're going to mark him down at the 11-yard line, and that's going to be, it looks like that could be close to first down yardage. Tackle made there by Malachi Wermeyer. And it is a new set of downs for the Shanley Deacons. Landon Meyer with Leininger beside him, and now you get Oshak. A little kickstart on the perimeter as nobody moved. And the Deacons, a couple penalties on this drive. So far, they've been able to overcome them. First down and 16. First down and, yeah, 16. Back to pass. Meyer flushed out of the pocket. Loose throws it into the end zone. Oh, in and out of the hands of Christman. Couldn't haul it in as the coverage provided by Nick Hasbargen. That could have been six as in and out of the hands it went. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay. You see Meyer scrambling out of the pocket. He gets a look at Crispin. In Paydirt, but in and out of his hands. And now it's second down and long for Shanley as they'll motion Oshak. Meyer, blitz, little screen pass set up. Adam Leininger, but well diagnosed. Therefore, Fargo Davies, Riley Lang, submarined Adam Leininger, and a short gain of five on the play. Sets up third down and 10. Looks like uh, Shanley could still get a first down if they get inside the one yard line, but it's third and 10 from the 11 yard line. Near side motion by Jordan Leininger. Now they try to throw a quick bubble to him and that's batted down. Nice play. Andre Work, your all EDC performer from his defensive line position, got his big paws up and batted that down. Well, both defenses have risen to the task here in the first quarter. Shanley, just kind of a muddle huddle, and they're going to go for it, obviously. Fourth down and 10 from the 11. Motion by Oshak. Back to pass is Meyer. Throws it to the far sideline, and it is caught, but it's going to be short. Oshak hauled it in, but they mark him down at the six, and a stiffening Fargo Davies defense denies that drive again for the Fargo Shanley Deacons. Now you see the tail end of that is uh, they marked uh, Oshak got pushed all the way back to the nine yard line is tackle uh, promptly made there by Grant Chasick for Fargo Davies. BNC Bank scoreboard tonight. Your life's busy. They make managing money easy with locations in North Dakota and Arizona. You can visit BNC Bank online at bnc.bank. 5.36 to play, scoreless here in the first quarter. Fargo Davies hands it off straight ahead, Zach Lilly, and he is bottled up. 
nothing doing is that uh, Shanley defense up front, Rogan, Keel, Mitchell, and Deutsch have been stout thus far for the Deacons. No gain on the play for Lilly. And it's going to be second and ten. Toss wide side. Here comes Lilly again trying to get to the perimeter. Can't do it. Flying in there and knifing down was Landon Mitchell. Landon Mitchell at the stop for the Deacons. Deacon fans, it's third down. Yeah, Mitchell, that linebacker position for Fargo Shanley. And it's no gain on the play for Lilly on back-to-back -back runs. Sets up third down and long. Well, let's see what Davies in the shadow of their own goal goes to here on third down. Back to pass. Brewer lofts a pass too tall over the outstretched hands of Malachi Wurmeyer. Might have been Perker Ravich. On the coverage, yeah, it was Perkarovich on the coverage, and this will send Fargo Davies into a punting situation. Brewer's the punter. You got always got to be aware of that when your punter is the quarterback. But from the five-yard line, I don't expect too many things other than just a punt here. As Brewer will be standing in his own end zone, back deep to receive is Oshak and Chrisman. Snap is back, high line driving punt, fielded by Oshak at the 48. Makes the first demand miss, stutter steps, and he'll duck out of bounds. Yeah, right in front of that Shanley bench, but it'll be good field position. Yeah, there's that Oshak return. He gets right into the uh, Shanley bench on your Ryan dealership, family dealership replay. And you got 4.18 to play in a scoreless first quarter. Well, the, the pace and the style has favored Davies, you'd say, so far in a scoreless game, but... Shanley is winning the field position battle here as Deacons will spread you out. Twins left, twins right. Oh, the ball is dropped. Picked up there, and Perkarovich makes something out of nothing. He was weaving, he was grinding, and he <laughs> somehow picks up about a dozen and a first down. Ball was snapped back and it was just dropped by Meyer. There you see Perkarovich picking it up and then he starts weaving, breaking arm tackles and doing his thing. Second, check that first down pass near sideline is completed. Chrisman, check that, that's Oshak. And a quick six as Landon Meyer hits him. Chosik pushes, pushes him out of bounds. Back into the serve pro red zone are the black-shirted Shanley Deacons. Fake to Perkarovich. Here comes Landon Meyer. Oh, breaks a tackle at the 10. Down to the five. Angling for the goal line. Is he in? No, they mark him down at the one. Shanley is going to quickly huddle. Meyer's out of the gun. Perkarovich standing beside him. Snap is back. Keeper for Meyer. Pushes to the goal line. No, he's stacked up. Pushed backwards. No Riley the Lang there to close the door for Fargo Davies. Well, that defense got to get ready in a hurry as Shanley's ready to snap it again. Looks like they might run the same play opposite side. This time Meyer, the gate opens. And Landon Meyer, touchdown, Fargo Shanley. And Shanley has a 6-0 lead. They converted field position into points. Matt Berg into attempt the extra point out of the hole to Jack Matter. Then I get Matt Berg into attempt the extra point. Jack Smattern will have the hold. Snap back, Berg swings a leg through, low line driving kick is good. And we'll have a touchdown timeout here on the PSP Network. Shanley draws first blood, 7-0 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 3.23 to play here first quarter. These are the 3A semifinals on the PSP Network. As Coglin took that one from his own 30-yard line, dances all the way down to the other end field for his seventh touchdown of the year. Conklin over on the far sidelines, two over here. 
the left. And back to pass the spare. We're going to take a shot to Conklin. He's open over the 40, down to the 30, 20. Hello, 10-5 touchdown. Logan Conklin. Landon Meyer with a one-yard touchdown run. 3.23 mark of the first quarter. Fargo Shanley. Uh, I don't think that was an onside kick, but uh, Berg didn't get much of it. Fielded by an up man, and Davies It's going to be covered up there and uh, recovered by Peter Havelka, one of the up man, and Davies will have pretty good field position at the 44-yard line. Landon Meyer with the one-yard TD run. Berg with the kick. 46-yard touchdown drive for Fargo Shanley off the short field. Davies had to punt out of their end zone, and Davies converted. Let's see if... And Shanley converted, I beg your pardon, after Davies had to punt out of their own end zone. Let's see if Davies can get this rushing attack going. They'll motion Lorenz, and somebody moved. Yep, give me a false start on Davies Eagles. Davies, full house backfield, couple tight ends. Brewer right between the hash marks, first and 15. They'll motion Lorenz again. Check that, that's Wormeyer, I beg your pardon. And couple yards straight ahead. Zach Lilly hogtied there and dropped down by Luke Rogan. Now we'll give Lilly three. As we're dripping down to the three minute mark here in the first quarter. Today's game brought to you in part by the UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. They're there for all your packing and shipping needs. Second down and 12 for the Eagles. Look at all the guys that Shanley has in the box. Straight ahead run, and there goes Lilly again as he works his way past the 45, and they mark him down right at the 45, so sets up a third down and long now upcoming for the Eagles. You see the motion there by Chasik and Davies trying to surprise that uh, Shanley defense, but thus far they haven't been able to do it. Your Ryan family dealership replay. Third down and nine. Brewer goes to the long count. Option to his near side. Pitches it out. And Wurrameyer is belted. Landon Mitchell lowers the boom again. No gain on the play. Landon Mitchell on the stop for the Deacon. And now we see a three and out here for Fargo Davies with 140 and counting to play in the first quarter. You would expect on fourth and nine that uh, fourth and nine for the Eagles Davies doesn't look like they're punting it, folks. From the 45, Davies on fourth and nine. And they're going to go play action. Looking deep. Brewers now tucking it, throwing it late, incomplete. Looking for Zach Lilly. Adam Leininger almost picks it off. And on downs, Fargo's Davies will give it right back to the Shanley Deacons. That was a slow developing play. Brewer did a good job of extending, looking for people. And I don't and even if uh, Lilly would have caught that, I don't know if he would have gotten to the sticks and gotten the first down. So now, just like they started the last possession in plus territory, Shanley takes over first and 10, near side hash mark from uh, the Fargo Davies 45 yard line. Couple receivers left and right, back to pass. Myers pass intended in the slot for Oshak. That falls incomplete. Free safety, check that strong safety, Grant Chasik on the coverage. 
Shanley just, again, gets in that muddle huddle, second and 10. They keep a couple receivers left and right. One back flanking Meyer. Claps his hands. Davies almost jumped. Now the Deacons will reorganize. Meyer now gets the snap and he'll keep it. Right between the tackles, he dances and darts and he drives his way out to the 40 yard line. And he'll pick up five and will set up third down and a more manageable five yards now for Shanley is Zach Lilly credited with the tackle there for Fargo Davies. Meyer play action, slings it. Oh, what a catch. Jordan Leininger in traffic. Luke Lorenz on the hit, but that was a dart. First and 10 for the Deacons, and they marched it down to the Davies 26 yard line. Adam Leininger motions. Landon Meyer will run it off the right side, and he is going to be corralled and pulled down by Riley Lang of that Davies defense. Second and seven for the Deacons. Three yard gain for Landon Meyer. And now the Eagle, or check that, the Deacons are nearing the serve pro red zone. They're going to go deep down the far sideline. Incomplete. Too tall for Oshak inside the five yard line. Coverage provided over there by Grant Chasik once again for Fargo Davies. Under. Uh, 10 seconds to play here, 5.8 seconds to play here in the first quarter, to be exact. This time, Shanley will be facing a third down and eight. From the 22, quick hitter, and it's going to be batted down. They were looking for Oshak, and there's Andre Work again. That's a couple times that Work has got his big paws up and knocked down passes. Oh, here we go, big play again. Shanley took over in Davies territory. They're facing it fourth and seven. They throw it over to Jordan Leininger and he's got a convoy and he's gonna have a first down right inside the numbers, turned it north and south. He drives it down to the 14 yard line, pickup of 10 on fourth and seven, and a big play for Shanley. And that will be the final play here of the first quarter, a fast moving 15 minutes. Here at Sid Sitchi Stadium in Fargo, end of one, 3A semifinals, Shanley seven, Davy zero. Check that, a fast moving 12 minutes. It went so fast it felt like it was 15. Uh, I was getting my uh, high school and uh, quarters, uh, college quarters uh, converted there. But Shanley nonetheless leads 7-zip on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Second quarter action comes up from Fargo after this break on the PSP Network. Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on, and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference. Shanley's entered the serve pro red zone for the third time today. First and 10. Snap is back. Meyer corralled. Hemmed in. They motioned the back out of the backfield and Fargo Davies, Andre Work was the first guy to meet him in the hole. That's a loss of two. Yeah, don't take a breath. Shanley is ready again at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 12 from the 14. Quick hitter, far sideline. Chrisman has it, dances, and good converging defense. Check that. That's not uh, Chrisman. It's two deuces. Double deuces is Sam Oshak. 
It'll be third down. And he got knocked out of bounds at about the 13-yard line, making it the 12-yard line. Sets up third down and eight from the left hash mark, wide side to the right of Landon Meyer. Uh, you got Oshak standing beside Meyer. And now Oshak will slip into the slot. He'll change spots with Adam Leininger. Fargo Davies looks like they're coming. Third down and eight. Meyer snap back. Fake, reverse. Oshak's going to throw a pass, halfback pass, bat it down. Looking for Adam Leininger in the end zone, and the pass batted down there. Andre Work is all over the place. He is making plays right now for that Davies defense. He's batting balls down at the line of scrimmage. He's batting them down at the goal line. He's stuffing the run. Andre Work's having an incredible first half. Now you're going to have Matt Berg coming on to attempt a 29-yard field goal. Ball will be spotted at the 19, add 10 for the end zone. Matt Berg's got a good leg. Low snap, good hold by Jax Mattern. Berg's kick is good. Didn't get a lot of it, but Matt Berg sends it through the uprights. There's your Ryan family dealership replay, and he converted it, and that makes our score. On your BNC Bank scoreboard, 10-0. Shanley on top over Fargo Davies, 10.43 to play in the first half. And we're back after this scoring play timeout on the PSP Network. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom, spider two, wide banana. You don't like that one, okay. High right, 40 power. No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Shanley has converted two short fields here into points. This time a 29-yard field goal by Matt Berg who will now kick off it's bouncing around it is loose who has the football Jordan Leininger comes out of there with it see if we can get a replay on this one as it was kind of a squib kick as yeah here's your Ryan family dealership replay Matt Berg will run up on it and this thing just kind of pinballed off a couple people and then somehow Jordan Leininger comes out of there with it. Yeah, one hand on it, it's loose, off of a helmet, and then it was a melee. Leininger finally coming out of there with it. The first turnover of the game goes to the Shanley Deacons. They take over the short field at the 36-yard line. Myers back to pass, steps up, goes deep. Far sideline, too tall. Looking for Jordan Leininger, and there's a flag flying in. Dan Yorkey on the coverage. And that's going to be 15, it looks like. Maybe a pass interference call. Yep, pass interference on the defense. And that'll be... Uh, that'll be 15. Line of scrimmage was the 36. They'll mark it all the way down to the 21. The Deacons nearing the Serb Pro Red Zone. Couple receivers to either side. Meyer out of the gun. Perkarovic gets the call. Straight up the middle, slips through an ankle tackle. And then he's ripped down by Zach Lilly, the middle backer, your second team All-Stater for Fargo Davies. Perkarovic picks up three. Second down and seven, and now the Deacons are officially in the Serb Pro Red Zone. Snap back, Meyer, quick hitter, off the hands of his intended receiver as Dan Yorkey that time was right in there as the pass was intended for Jordan Leininger. Looks like Fargo Davies had that pretty well diagnosed as a lot, of, a lot of hands, a lot of bodies on that quick bubble to the left. 10-0 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Approaching 10 minutes to play here in the second quarter. 
Davies looks like they're coming on a blitz. A couple guys with their hands down, they motion, pump fake. Throwing it for the corner, touchdown! Oshak! From Landon Meyer, 21 yards to pay dirt. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay. Davies did in indeed bring some pressure. Meyer just got that pass off and he was belted down. And then Oshak right at the goal line hauls it in. Nice play. Shanley leads 16 0. And Matt Berg is on to attempt an extra point. Snap back. Mattern's hold is down, Berg's kick is up, and he slingshots it through, and Shanley now leads 17-0 with 10.03 to play here in the first half. Touchdown timeout. Deacons cruising here in the first half in the 3A semifinals. The foundation of the financial planning approach at Legacy Financial Partners is a personal relationship. Our unique and collaborative approach to financial planning starts with your dreams, not just the numbers. We will work with you regularly to take action to update your plan as your needs evolve, recommending products and services that are right for your situation. Well, the Deacons taking advantage here. A couple short fields. And then a muffed kickoff return by Fargo Davies has resulted in three scores for Fargo Shanley. This time another squib kick. Going to be corralled and hauled in there by Nicholas Hasbargen. And now Fargo Davies, the, the, folks, this is a team that they, they like to grind it out. And so when you get down and you play that style of football, now you just, it's going to test your patience, right? Do you really want to try to keep doing your three yards in a cloud of dust? And uh, thus far, the Shanley defense has been pretty stout. So we'll see how this plays out for the Davies Eagles with 9.59 to play in the first half. And Shanley on top 17 zip on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Gage Brewer will go play action. He's got time, throws it over the middle and it's picked off. Sam Oshak has it. Picked off. Brewer threw it late over the middle. Oshak has it. Third interception of the season. Yeah, Brewer on first down, they went to play action. They weren't very patient, were the Deacons. There you see that late pass over the middle. Oshak picked it off at the 38 yard line, carries it back to the 16. And that's where Fargo Shanley will take over. In the serve pro red zone once again are the Deacons. So I think this is the second time they've huddled. Oshak will come near side. Offset eye beside Landon Meyer. Snap is back. They're looking for Oshak again. Running the fade route. And Oshak, a little tangled up there as pass falls incomplete. I don't like the play call. I mean, the guy just caught a touchdown a moment ago. And you're going right back to the well, right? You get the big turnover. You got it at the 16-yard line. And Landon Meyer went right back to the matchup. Looking for Oshak. There you see that pass. Just a little bit too tall as he got tangled up there. In coverage did Sam Oshak. Motion by Leininger. Handoff straight ahead run. Perkarovic. And Davies swiping at that football as Perkarovic maybe picks up a couple down to the 14-yard line. Looks like Peter Havelka in there for Fargo Davies. Third down and eight. Boy, if you're a Davies fan, you need to stop right here. Got Shanley into a third and long. Meyer has the snap back. Looks left, comes back right, throws it. Corner end zone once again. This time Oshak. Touchdown! Sam Oshak. 
in the corner of the end zone. What a dime. Landon Meyer hit him perfectly. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay as Meyer started left, trying to look off a of safety, keep that one-on-one -on -one coverage on the near side over here for Oshak. And then that was an absolute dart right into the corner of the end zone. Six more for Fargo Shanley. Snap back, kick up, and Mac Berg drives another one through, and Shanley is rolling. You're defending 3A champions. Looking strong here in the first half. 24 0, a touchdown timeout. 9.07 to play here in the first half. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old-fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Well, Fargo Shanley can score in bunches, folks. Those two touchdowns, 54 seconds apart. I make that 50, 56 seconds apart as Matt Berg will line drive of another bouncing squib kick. This one picked up by Hasbargen, angling from his left to his right, past the 30. Takes it out to the 33 yard line. Well, after the game, we're going to hand out our Sport Clips MVP of the contest. And right now we have a leading candidate. And that would be the guy we profiled at the start of the game, Sam Oshak. Two touchdown receptions from Landon Meyer. And also, oh, by the way, he also had the pick that set up that last touchdown for the Shanley Deacons. Well, we talked about the patience factor a moment ago, and let's see how patient uh, Davies is now. They went to the well on first down uh, last drive and threw an interception. Brewer will give it off and stacked up again is Zach Lilly. It looked like it was big old Carter Mitchell in there plugging up that hole. Man, Davies could use a big play just to kind of rile up the troops. Brewer, handoff, another carry for Zach Lilly, and boy, the hard-earned yard into the teeth of that Shanley defense. You had... Holden Deutsch in there, along with Isaac Butler, who's uh, filling in in that defensive line. And again, Fargo Shanley has forced Davies into a third and long. Davies is more equipped to convert third and threes and fourth and ones. Third and longs sometimes are trouble. Handoff, right side rumble. And picking up a couple yards for Fargo Davies was Luke Lorenz. Tackled down there by Perkerovich. And now you got a fourth and a long five. And the Eagles look like they're going for it. Heck, why not? You're down 24 already here in the first half. Fourth and five. Let's see what Coach Wurmeyer dials up. Brewer will come near side, fake an option. Now he's back to pass. Looking, looking, he's got a man. Oh, it's underthrown. He had his guy, the tight end, Bennett Gerlach. And on the coverage was Sam Oshak. Gage Brewer had him, but that pass was well underthrown. And now, hey, folks, uh, Shanley, Shanley's motivated. They've uh, scored on three straight possessions, and now they take over at the Fargo Davies 39-yard line. 
I think that's a pass that uh, Gage Brewer is going to want back. It was into the slight breeze, but boy, it's pretty much died down here at Sid Sitchy Stadium here on the home field of the Shanley Deacons. Watch out. Uh, Shanley might take a shot right here as back to pass. Landon Meyer evades the rush. Now he's going to tuck and scramble. He's got some space. 30, 35, slides at the 30, or check that, the 28-yard line, and he's going to have a first down, a scramble of 11 yards. Now before he's dropped down by the corner, Liam Wick Wicklow. Yeah, Meyer is as adept as he's throwing the ball. He has ran for 700 yards and 16 touchdowns this season from his quarterback position. Meyer back to pass. Slings it, and a little miscommunication there is, I think Meyer was thinking it was going to be an out, and Oshak was maybe looking at a double move potentially. It falls incomplete, sets up second down and 10. Like Chasik on the coverage. As Grant Chasik now looks like he's chasing over uh, Sam Oshak wherever he goes. Two good athletes right there on the near side, right at the 30-yard line. Second and 10. Adam Leininger will flank Meyer out of the gun. From the 29-yard line, Davies got four down linemen, a couple of rushers off the edge, straight ahead run, and Meyer pinballs his way down to the 25-yard line, make it the 26. Gain of four, he's knifed down there by Malachi Weirmeyer. Gain of about three, it's third down and seven. And now the Deacons will face a third down and seven. From the near side hash mark. Third down and seven for the Deacons. Shanley just calls that play at the line of scrimmage. They get organized. Couple receivers left, couple receivers right. They'll motion Oshak. Fake to him. Looking for a couple slants. Nobody really open. Finally throwing it towards the goal line. Incomplete. Pass was intended. Intended for Carson Busick. Carson Busick at the goal line and good coverage there by Wicklow to bat that football away at the last second. Uh, the, they had a couple slants on the front side of that play and that's where Meyer was originally looking, including a, a, a flat pattern for Sam Oshak and then he came back to a backside post for Kate Busick and you get a holding call that's declined. So they're going to go fourth down here. And seven. And well, the Davies fans run around up that Eagles defense and get a Hub International Insurance timeout on the field. You can contact Hub International at 355 3100. Ask for Josh Cattell or Michael Borman for your personal and business insurance needs. Fourth and seven for Shanley when we come back. 24 0 on your BNC Bank scoreboard, under six minutes to play here in the first half. There you look at the Shanley offensive huddle. We'll be facing a fourth down and seven here. We get a chance to tell you that tonight's game brought to you by Planet Pizza. No other pizza like it. Call them at 852-1700. Planet Pizza is from the Magic City for over 25 years. Tonight's game also brought to you in part by Minot State. More than 96% of their recent Minot State grads employed or continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Fourth and seven, snap is back. Meyer, they blitz him. They try to get him, and he flips it over to Adam Leininger, and he bounces out of bounds. Very near first down yardage, but I think he's going to be just shy. Yep, they mark him out at the 20. And mark him out at the 21. He had to get to the 20. And a rush and a blitz that time forced Meyer to get rid of the football. Good job to just dump it off to Leininger, and then a good tackle in space there by Zach Lilly to knock out. Adam Leininger, who's tough to bring down in space, and a good job by the Deacons there to deny uh, drive for Shanley. There comes the Eagles. 5.45 to play in the first half. Man, if you could ever muster up a drive, now would be the time for Fargo Davies. Brewer is under center. 
handoff on a right side run. Uh, looked to be Luke Lorenz. Yep. Nope, check that. Malachi Wurmeyer has the carry. He needs a couple. <laughs> I think you uh, heard the public address now said tackled by the Deacons. The, the team tackling? I love it. Second and eight for the Davies Eagles from uh, their own 22-yard line, near side hash mark. Moving right to left. Wurmeyer has another carry. And this time he's going to be stuck down after a short gain. Ah, no gain on the play. No gain on the play. Deacon fans, it's third down. Yeah, see, this is the... When Davies can get this offense going, they can kind of, it's like death by a thousand paper cuts. They'll just three yards, three yards, three yards. But right now, Shanley is no gain, no gain, one yard, two yard. And now you're going to pitch it wide side. There goes Zach Lilly trying to get to the edge. Can't do it. Nice play again. Landon Mitchell, have a night. Have a first half on the defensive side. No gain for Zach Lilly. And now you get a punting situation upcoming. As dropping back to punt this away will be Luke Lorenz. Snap is back. Lorenz punts it away. Wobbling high kick. Fair catch, Chrisman, but he muffed it. And now you got a dog pile and a scrum. Muffed punt right near midfield. And Fargo, Fargo Shanley has turned it over. Davies' recovery is made by Ryland Fisher. Recovered by the Eagles. Well, hey, Fargo Davies needed a break, and they might have just got it right there. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay. High end over end uh, punt by Luke Lorenz, and Chrisman just right off his numbers. And then, like we said, it was a scrum. It was a dog pile, and Fargo Davies comes out of there with it. Ryland Fisher. Has the fumble recovery, and Davies takes over near midfield at their own 49-yard line. Brewer will turn, hand it off to Zach Lilly, and nowhere to go. Gets a yard to midfield. You know, let's think about uh, Fargo Davies running backs. They're all good blockers. You know, so you get uh, you get Lorenz in there, he can block. You get Chasik in there, he can block. You get Wurmeyer, he can block. Zach Lilly can block. But, man, they are having a hard time creating any lanes and running lanes against this Fargo Shanley front and those linebackers. Look how many guys Fargo Shanley has in the box. I mean, there's 11 guys within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Little cross buck, misdirection play, and this time Lorenz is stacked up. Belted down Lorenz as Shanley comes flying in there. Fisher Hannison was in on the action, and he had some help. Yeah, Hannison credited officially with that stick, and now with 2.40 to play in the first half, Davies has moved it into Shanley territory at their 49 yard line, but they're facing a third down and eight. Davies still with three timeouts remaining. Shanley with a couple timeouts remaining. Probably four down territory here as play clock dwindling down. Back to pass. Brewer looking, fires over the middle, tipped incomplete. Pass incomplete. Fired it for Chasik. Christman and Adam Leininger are the closest defenders for Fargo Shanley. It's fourth down and eight. And now with 2.16 to play in the first half, looks like Davies is going to forego the punt, and it's not really a roll in the dice when you're down 24, but you got a punt that Fargo Shanley muffed, and now you're trying to make it into something. Fourth and eight. Davies got to get to the Shanley 41 for a first down. Quick hitter, pop pass to the tight end, complete. complete. Parker Havelka hauls it in. 
And a first down, new set of downs, tackled by Sam Oshak. Fourth down conversion there. Oh, we cut the very end of it, I apologize for that. Is, uh, that replay a little bit slow on the draw, I was, but now the clock drips down to under two minutes to play. Davies, first and 10. Marched it down to the Shanley 37 yard line. Handoff goes Chasik. Tried to angle left, and he is stood up and stacked up by that Shanley defense. Adam Leininger in there. Chrisman off the pile. Butler in on the action. Mitchell. Now Davies is going to hurry up. Still got all three timeouts remaining with 90 seconds and dripping left here in the first half. Brewer gives it to Lorenz. It looked like he almost wanted to pass that, but then he gets twisted out of bounds. Chrisman and also Landon Mitchell in on the action, and now you get a Hubner National Insurance timeout. Davey's going to burn one as they're looking for points here to end the first half, but it's been all Shanley in the first 23 minutes and change. BNC Bank scoreboard, Shanley 24, Davey 0. Back with the conclusion of the first half after this timeout on the PSP Network. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. Uh, Todd Domery's back with you from Sid Sitchy Field. Third down and 10, upcoming for Davies. Fake a handoff, Brewers back to pass. Scrambles left, plants, sets, throws into traffic. Intended receiver there was Nicholas Hasbargan and he was sandwiched. And Perkarovich and Chrisman blanketing has bargained and now fourth down and 10. Let's see if uh, somehow Davies can convert another fourth down here. Uh, what's uh, Davies gonna do here? Mm, wait a minute. They just went for it. They went for it on fourth down a moment ago from midfield and now you have it fourth and 10 from the 37 yard line. I think I would be ready for a fake in that situation because if you went for it from midfield, logic would say you're going to go for it again from the 37-yard line, but hey, Nostradamus has been wrong before. We'll keep it right here with 107. Check that 103 to play in the first half. Reminder, our Serve Pro Halftime Show comes up next. Run through the scoring plays, give you a few highlights, track some scores on our BNC Bank scoreboard. Serve Pro's got trained technicians, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Serve Pro. That's game brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. Northern choice to seal your heating and air game, the Northern Plains Heating and Air. Night's game also brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. Check them out at MinotBraces.com. Night's game also brought to you in part by Minot State University. Be seen, be heard, be you. Now Davies is going to drop back into an apparent punting situation. Back to Lorenz. And he'll punt it away, bounces at the 15. And that's about right where it'll stop, at the 14 yard line. So with 53 seconds to play, Shanley will take over at their own 14 yard line. I'm a little puzzled by that one. Puzzled by the, the choice to punt that uh, at the, the 37 yard line. So it was a good punt, well executed, but Oh, and let's see how aggressive Shanley is here. Straight ahead run for Adam Leininger. Right between the numbers, he hauls it out before he's corralled there by Riley Lang. It's a gain of five for Adam Leininger. And 
line doesn't look like uh, Shanley is going to be any too big of a hurry here deep in their own end. Now the line of scrimmage uh, just outside the 20-yard line. Meyer, a couple backs beside him. Second down and five. Meyer's back to pass. Flushed out of the pocket and tripped up. Kept his balance and got back to the line of scrimmage. Zach Lilly there on the stick. And it looks like Shanley's going to call off the dogs here. And we will go to our halftime activities. 3A semifinals on the PSP Network. BNC Bank scoreboard. Shanley 24. Davy Zero, back with more of our halftime after this timeout on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank.
Well, back at halftime. Here on the PSP Network, Fargo Shanley leading 24-0 over Davies, 7 nothing at the end of the first quarter after a one-yard touchdown run by Landon Meyer. 29-yard field goal for Matt Berg early in the second quarter, and then within 56 seconds, Shanley converted twice at about that 10-minute mark. Two touchdown passes in succession, one 24 yard, 21 yards, and then one 14 yards from Landon Meyer to Sam Oshak. And that's the scoring plays here in the first half as we're efforting a couple uh, scores here on the BNC Bank scoreboard update. Is, uh, there's not much to report right now because all the other games were seven o'clock starts. And of course, this was a six o'clock start. So all the other games just getting underway here in the 3A semifinals is once again, I remind you that uh, next Friday we'll be on the air on the PSP Network digital radio coverage. Nine man about 9 a.m. Fargo Dome. Breakfast at the Fargo Dome. Single A, 2A, 3A games in succession following that. You can like us, follow us on our social media channel, channels and catch all the Dakota Bowl action on our digital radio coverage next week from the Fargo Dome. Now here's that bracket that we mentioned. Uh, well, that's the uh, that's, not, that's not the right one. I'll get that squared away. Is uh, that was WDA volleyball, which uh, we were talking about a couple days ago. But uh, the other games tonight is Minot and Cheyenne across town here has just kicked off, and we're tracking a couple two uh, A games tonight. As you've got Central and Jamestown and North and Horace doing battle in their respective 2A semifinals for the right to play in that 2A championship next week at the Dakota Bowl. Come back and dig into the numbers from the first half, give you a couple highlights, and we'll get that, that BNC scoreboard update as our halftime show rolls on here from Sid Sitchi Stadium at Fargo Shanley. Halftime score, Shanley 24, Davies 0. Back with more after this break on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Todd Domery's back at halftime. Sid Sitchi Field on the PSP Network. 24-0. Shanley 
Shanley leads over Fargo Davies. Here's a couple halftime highlights. Says, this is the first touchdown of the game for Sam Oshak. Early in the second quarter, Landon Meyer drops back. I like the patience here by Oshak. He kind of just hesitated the line of scrimmage, and then bam. Beat the defense, scores six, and Shanley. Low snap, good early in that by second Jack's quarter. Matter, Matt Berg. Berg's kick is Field good. Goal. He's got a good leg as they Low line snap, that one up. Good hold got by leg Jax Matter. There's some halftime Berg's highlights for you. Berg's kick is good. Here on the PSP Network. Now we're still efforting those uh, halftime stat numbers as we'll get you those in just a second. And as we figured, no other games have scores thus far here. Nope. As uh, Minot High got a fourth down or a conversion from Logan Conklin and uh, converted that. And they were moving the football a little bit against Fargo Shanley. They're actually in the red zone uh, with uh, halfway through the first quarter. Uh, almost a live look, look in there is. First ever playoff matchup between these two teams, Fargo Davies and Fargo Shanley. And uh, Davies, even though they got a three game winning streak coming in here, the action has been dominated by the home team, the Fargo Shanley Deacons. Landon Meyer with a touchdown run in the first quarter. Berg, we showed you that field goal and then consecutive touchdowns midway through that second quarter. Landon Meyer hitting Sam Oshak. And uh, there's your scoring plays as Davies again looking for that second Dakota Bowl appearance in program history. They, they started playing football back in 2010. They won the state championship in 2014. That was their only time of the Dakota Bowl. Davies been to the playoffs 10 of the last 14 years, including six of the last seven. And Shanley's, uh, they've been rolling. Uh, 25 titles in their history. 2022, the most recent one when they moved uh, back to 3A football in 2019, took them three years. They won a state title. And uh, Troy Mattern captained that team uh, uh, to a state title a year ago, and he was the 2022 3A Coach of the Year. All right, our second half comes up next. Shanley leading Davies 24-0 at halftime. We'll kick off the second 24 minutes after this break on the PSP Network. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. I ride Zoom. Spider 2 Y banana. You don't like that one, okay. I write 40 power. No. Nah. You don't want that one either? Nah. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Banking is some of the most important things in your life, and banking at the right bank is very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people, and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them, and try to do things to help make our communities better. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do. And we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. 
Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. The foundation of the financial planning approach at Legacy Financial Partners is a personal relationship. Our unique and collaborative approach to financial planning starts with your dreams, not just the numbers. We will work with you regularly to take action to update your plan as your needs evolve, recommending products and services that are right for your situation. Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on, and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference. I get set for the second half of play. Shanley 11 first downs in that first half. Fargo Davies with two. Shanley outgains Fargo Davies significantly as Davies will kick off, fueled by an up man and a quick return out to the 31 yard line. And Fargo Davies will set up shop. Here's a few more of those numbers. Uh, Davies rushes it. 21 times for 25 yards in the first half. They throw it for 33 yards, about 60 yards of offense in that first half for Fargo Davies. Shanley, 129 yards through the ground and 88 yards in the air. And Davies outgained about 215 to 60 in that first half. Give you a few of those, those numbers uh, in just a moment as here we go. Gage Brewer, this time little Straight ahead dive, Zach Lilly. Yeah, that was positive gain. Maybe a couple, two, three, and line of scrimmage was the 41 yard line. He gets all the way out to the 46, so that's about a five yard gain for Zach Lilly. Second down and six from the 46 yard line. A little. Dive play again, and Davies totes that one out to the 47-yard line. Couple yards again for Zach Lilly. Now this is more Davies' style here. It, it, folks, it's not, it's not pretty some nights, but uh, you often will get into manageable third down situations like Davies is right here as Brewer checks his armband for the play. Third down and three. Oh, that time they got busted up. Met in the hole was Zach Lilly, and there was big Carter Mitchell. Laid a lick on him, and that's actually, yeah, you're saying no gain on the play. He got pushed back about six yards as uh, the Shanley defense was stiffening. Davies looks to come out, try to establish a little run here in the second half. Down by 24 is Fargo Davies. Motion by Chasik. Oh, balls on the turf. And it looks like Fargo Shanley, it was a fourth down play. I don't think they're gonna get it anyway, but fumble recovery by Fargo Shanley. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay. They tried to give it off to Chasik and that ball was loose and there's just a melee. 
And Fargo Shanley will take over. Leading by 24 are the Deacons. Second turnover of the football game for Fargo Davies. They're picked off in the first half. Now a fumble on the turf here in the third quarter. Twins left, twins right. Motion by Leininger, quick hitter. They get it out to Adam Leininger. They push him back inside. Nice play there by Zach Lilly to feed him back into the Wolves and Fargo Davies. Johnny on the spot there, just a one-yard gain. Counts as a pass. As Shanley, about 80% of their offense comes through the air, but much of it, uh, those are almost like extended handoffs there. They're running backs. They put them in motion. They'll throw it out to them. As Fargo Davies came out and got positive first down, second down, third down, had it first and second down and had it third and manageable and couldn't convert. Second down and nine from the 46. Landon Meyer, handoff, straight ahead run. Adam Leininger pirouetting, twisting, Adam turning. And he Gets totes it down to the 40 yard line. Yard line. That'll make a third down and three. Straight ahead run for the 225 pound senior. Adam Leininger, the move right in the hole there as he twisted off of a couple tackles and kept those pads nice and low and picked up extra yardage, makes it third down and three yards to go for the Deacons. Their black shirts with the red numerals, just inside the left hash mark, Davies looks like they're coming on a blitz. Got one, two, three, five guys perched and ready to go and Davies will bring them. Straight ahead run, Leininger, first down. Run right into that blitz and pick up a first down. Leininger dropped down there by Wilman Mat Milman Matati. Zach Lillian in the neighborhood as well. We got a Davies Eagle that was getting the play call back in the Shanley huddle. Shanley now is slowing it down here to start the third quarter as they've huddled up a couple times. Play a little keep away of their own. That's what Davies likes to do. First and 10, Deacons from the 35-yard line of Davies. Twins left, twins right. This time, Myers back to pass. Looks left, fires over the middle, incomplete. Good coverage that time as Myers pass, pass looking for Jordan Leininger. Second down and, 10. and coverage provided there by Dan Yorkey. There's your Ryan family dealership replay as Fargo. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, went, went too far back as that was the uh, first down run a moment ago for Adam Leininger. Missed that uh, most recent play and that nice bat away by Dan Yorkey. The pass defended makes it second down and 10. Davies again crowding that line of scrimmage. Sh snap back to Landon Meyer. Boy, he's shifty. Makes a couple people miss in the hole and Meyer drives it ahead inside the 29 yard line. That'll make it yeah, give him about seven on that play. Submarine and drop down by Luke Lorenz. There's that, you know, like you said, Shanley's just kind of taking their time here in the uh, in the third quarter. They're showing everybody that Coach Mattern and team that, hey, we can play fast, but hey, when we need to uh, put games in the ice box, we can do that as well. Third down and a long three. Couple receivers to either side. Meyer has it. Quick hitter. Jordan Leininger, little tunnel screen, and he's got the necessary yardage. Third and a long three, and he picks up five. Drives his way down to the 24 yard line. Smacked down there by Nick Hasbargen, but not until Fargo. This looks like a Davies drive. Man, Shanley is the big play offense. They don't usually just kind of methodically move it down the field, but that's exactly what Fargo Shanley is doing here is they've picked up a couple first downs. Get a look at that Shanley sideline right there. And uh, Shanley's nearing the serve pro red zone. Meyer back to pass, threw on right in the shoe tops of Jordan Leininger at the 15 yard line. Dan Yorkie on the coverage once again. Davies just manning up on that near side as pass falls incomplete. Go, 
Well, we mentioned Meyer in that first half. Ran for 116 yards, threw for 88 in that first half, did Landon Meyer. Fake to Leininger, Meyer slips outside. Oh, and he is walloped. That might be the best hit of the game right there is coming up and laying some lumber there was Fargo Davies, Nick Hasbargen, I believe, as we'll get a Ryan dealership replay on that one is <laughs> Landon Meyer faked it to Leininger and he took off and come to the near side and boom. Yeah, Hasbargen, big hit. Good leverage on that outside by Davies. Deacon's just chewing some clock here. We're halfway through the third quarter. Shanley enjoying that 24-point advantage on third down and 11. Leininger flank and Meyer. Pump fake. Looking deep. Busek near the pylon. Batted away. Carson Busick defended by Nick Hasbarg, and that's a couple of great plays there by Hasbarg. And comes up with a big hit. Here's that Ryan Family dealership replay. Pump fake by Meyer. Lofts it to the pylon, and there's Hasbargen. Bats that away with his left hand. Nice job. Sets up fourth down and 11 now for Shanley. Fourth and 10, check it, fourth and 11. Motion to the near side by Leininger, pump fake, blitz is on. Meyer hit late as he throws, and I don't think you want to intercept that one, but did, yeah, they did. Davies picked it off, a turnover. Meyer's pass for Hedison incomplete. Oh, uh, what, incomplete? Looked like it was picked off, they were yelling for a touchback. First down for the Eagles. Yeah, it was Grant Chasick who grabbed that thing out of midair. It actually cost uh, Shanley a few yards as they're going to call it an interception and a touchback. And Davies will come out to the 20-yard line. Was That's where you just bat it down. Because you're going to get that ball near the 30. But, yeah, get a pick, you get a pick. Well, here comes Davies. Davies led in the first half by the 13 rushing yards of Zach Lilly. 33 yards passing for Gage Brewer. Just not much going offensively. Here's Brewer on the keep. Brewer Nothing the there. Here. Faked it inside, ran it outside. No gain on the Jordan Leininger there to ankle tackle him down for no gain. Second and just under 10 yards. Hey fans, tonight's game brought to you in part by Minot State. Best way to predict your future is to create it. 100 areas of study at Minot State. You'll get the career and the degree you desire. Option play, near side, nothing happening. Swallowing that play up. Boy, this guy's had a nice game. Landon Mitchell, been on a lot of plays. Every time uh, Davies has tried to get to the edge, Landon Mitchell has been there to stymie many of those plays. Ryan Family Dealership replay, little option play. Look at all the convergence. Look at the black shirts. Meyer with the rip down. Check that, Mitchell with the rip down. And now Davies in a position they don't want to be. Third down and long. Third and nine to be exact. Got to get to the 30 for a first down. Brewer back to pass, deep drop, near side, too tall. Threw it for Grant Chasick, incomplete. Chrisman on the coverage for Fargo Shanley. Fourth down and nine for the Eagles. Yeah, Gage Brewer has thrown uh, about 108 passes coming into this. Exactly, he has thrown 108 passes, so that's about 10 a game. And in the first half, Davies threw 10 passes. So that tells you that Davies is a little out of their system. And now they're facing a fourth and nine from their own 21. They're going to go for it. Why not? Back to pass. Throws it in the flat. Batter away. And now a flag comes in. We get some uh, interference called there as Malachi Wiermeyer was the intended receiver. See if we can get a replay look at that as, yeah, very late in the action there. There, there came the flag, you saw it, but that's going to be apparent pass interference. We'll get the view of that. Yep, pass interference whistled on the Deacons. 
That'll be an automatic first down, 15 yards for Fargo Davies and a much needed set of downs, a new set of downs. 15 yard penalty, that'll take it out. Here's some more of those individual numbers from the first Two, half. Receiving for Fargo Davies, Grant Chasick with one grab for 21 yards. Big tight end part, Peter Havelka had a catch for 12. And now Fargo Davies just went to the long count. Yeah, that'll get you a free five. That looked like the left defensive end, Luke Rogan, was the man for Shanley that jumped into the neutral zone. Well, if, if nothing else, uh, Davies has mildly you know, moved the ball here, if you want to call it that. Here's a wide side run. There goes Grant Chas. It gets to the edge. 45, midfield, hog tied, drove down. That's the biggest run of the night. Caden Chrisman hauls him down, but that's a quick 15. And Grant Chasik had his biggest run of the night. And into Shanley territory comes Fargo Davies. First and 10, Eagles from the left hash mark from the 48 yard line moving left to right, north to south here at Sid Sitchie Field. And this time they try a wide side run. Luke Lorenz trying to get to the boundary and he's cut down. No, they, no, uh, I'm not give him a gain of one. Chrisman looked like he was in the vicinity for the tackle for Fargo Shanley. Yeah, Brewer throwing the football in that first half. Three of nine was picked off once. And the rushing yard just wasn't there. Lilly carried it 10 times for 13 yards. Chasek a couple times for six yards. They were the leaders. Motion to the far side, turns into a lead block for Zach Lilly. First down rumble, there he goes. 40, 35, yanked out of bounds. And a first down gallop for Zach Lilly. Pushed out of bounds by Adam Leininger. And uh, Davies is finding something at the edges now. They pounded it inside for so long. And there went Zach Lilly, made a man miss at about the 45 and pushed out of bounds. Line of scrimmage is the 29 yard line. Sure, so Ryan family dealership replay is Davies, probably their best drive of the night. First and 10 from the 29. Handoff straight ahead. Zach Lilly hemmed in. Nothing doing. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna show this replay here, and you're just gonna see that there's just no movement. I mean, you hand it off to a guy, and it's an absolute stalemate right in the hole. As Brewer tried to draw him offside, you hand it off, and look at that. It's just like nowhere to go. Every time it seemed like Davies has tried it between the tackles, there just hasn't been much there. Motion by Lorenz, turns into a lead blocker for Zach Lilly. Trill's trying to get to the boundary, he's stretched out. Dropped down at the 26 yard line. Adam Leininger and also Landon Mitchell, our guy in there again after that two yard gain for Zach Lilly. Here comes that play call in from the Davies bench. Lorenz and Hasbargan will come off, a couple new bodies in there for the Eagles on a third down and eight. Davies nearing the serve pro red zone. Wide side run, there goes Chasik. Pretty good job of pursuit there by Fargo Shanley. Gonna be short as he gets inside the 25, mark him down officially to 23, gotta get to the 19 for a first down. Did Grant Chasik try to run into the boundary? And it turns into a fourth down and four. From the left hash mark, wide side run would be the right side for Brewer and company. Fourth and four, I wanted to go to the long count here again. Nope, no motion, and a little pop pass, batted down and picked off. Adam Leininger. They went to the pop pass again, looking for their tight end. And Leininger has the third turnover of the game for Fargo Shanley. Yeah, they motioned, 
quick hitter. Leininger tips it up in the air and picks it off. What a play. Just when Davies had a drive going, they're nearing the red zone, and Adam Leininger, the second interception of the night for Fargo Shanley, comes at the 150 mark here of the third quarter. And on your BNC Bank scoreboard, Shanley still leading 24-0. Meyer out of the gun, handoff straight ahead running, Perkerovich made the first man miss at the line of scrimmage, darts his way out to the 34 yard line, gain of five. And the stop made there by the strong safety, Luke Lorenz. Hey fans, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, proud to bring you tonight's game. Helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. You can find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Tonight's game also brought to you by Planet Pizza. I could use a blue buffalo or a plain cheese pizza right now. They've been serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Second and five for the Deacons. Twins to either side, straight ahead run, Adam Leininger, oh nice play. Knocked down in the hole and hanging on there for that Fargo Davies defense. Looked like it uh, might have been Peter Havelka from his defensive end position, I believe it was. Yep, Havelka credited for the tackle as Leininger picks up a couple. As we said, Shanley just kind of slowing it down now as uh, here's that replay. Uh, that nice play, nice play by Havelka. Leininger is a hard guy to bring down, and uh, Peter Havelka did that, the 6'6", 205-pound senior defensive end. Third and four, quick hitter, near side. Perkarovic puts a foot in the ground, caught it short of the line to gain, and then he drives close, and he's going to have the first down yardage. Third and four, and he picks up five. Wilmot Matati has the stick for Davies, but Shanley has a first down. And we're going to go to the fourth quarter in just a moment. The clock will roll. Shanley, no intention of calling another play. There's that Shanley huddle. And we're going to go to the fourth quarter. BNC Bank scoreboard, end of three, 3A semifinals on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Shanley 24, Davy 0. Fourth quarter comes up next on the PSP Network. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. Ooh. And actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. First and 10, Shanley. Todd Darmers back at Sid Sitchi Field. Good to have Luke and Landon Darmers running the camera for us. Srinath Konduro doing the spotting tonight for us as Perkarovic pile drives his way into Davies territory. 12 yard rumble before Grant Chasik has a self defense tackle right there as Perkarovic, the burly running back. 195 pound senior. Leininger, 200 pound senior. That's Jordan Leininger. Adam Leininger, the 225 pound senior. Shanley doing the number on offense and defense tonight against their crosstown rival, the down the street rival here on 25th Street in Fargo. First and 10, Shanley. Second man through is Perkarovic. This time he's stacked up. Started it off the left tackle and he got buried after about a eh, half a yard game. Nope, no gain on the play. Uh, looks like it was Matadi again. Cleaning that one up for Fargo Davies. 
I found tonight's game also brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics. Enjoy professional treatment and a fun, relaxed atmosphere. Check them out at MinotBraces.com. Second down and 10. Motion to the near side. Little tunnel screen. Jordan Leininger has it. And on second and long, Leininger right up the numbers on the far side. Finally going to be tripped up there by Dan Yorkey after a gain of six. Yeah, Shanley's just gone to the kind of ball control offense here in the second half, but why not? I mean, uh, they can kind of just dictate the pace, dictate the play, and Davies been doing a better job defensively. They kept him out of the scoreboard, but still, nonetheless, it's just been a game of keep away here a little bit for Shanley in the second half. Third down and four for the Deacons. Davies looks like they're sending extra people, and now, now you're going to get a Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Hubbard National Insurance located at 4204 Boulder Ridge Road in Northwest Bismarck. 9.56 to play in our football game. 3A semifinals from Fargo Shanley. It's the Deacons 24 and the Eagles 0 back after this break on the PSP Network. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. Third and four for Fargo Shannon, just under 10 minutes to play. Low snap. Meyer rolling right. Fires a ball too tall for Oshak. Blanket coverage there by Grant Chasik. And that one got away from the senior QB, Landon Meyer. It's been on the money. His favorite target tonight has been Oshak. Got a couple grabs, both of them touchdowns. And now on fourth down and four for a team that doesn't really have punt in their vocabulary, the Deacons are going to go for it. Well, maybe not. This looks like a punting situation. No, maybe not. It's not a punting situation. They're going to try to draw him offside. Nope, they snap it. Yep, little pooch kick as Meyer will wedge it down to the 15. Well done. And they'll stick Fargo Davies deep at the 14-yard line, looking for a long field. And Shanley, a little ball control and taking time off the clock. It's been Davies is Moved the ball a little bit here in the second half, but nothing to show for it. I found tonight's game also brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. Northern choice to seal your heating and air game. The Northern Plains Heating and Air. You can find them online at northern-plains.com. Davies will throw it. Loading up. Rifling it down the sideline too far. Brewer looking for... Malachi Wurmeyer and step for step with him was Landon Mitchell. Well, that guy's, we've called his name a lot tonight. Mitchell has been Johnny on the spot. Is final score update. West Fargo Cheyenne three, Minot Magicians seven. Six minutes left in the first half of that game. Davies facing a second down and 10 now from their own 14 yard line. Long field in front of the Eagles. And they'll turn, hand it off, second man through, faked it right, came back to the left. And Grant Chasek got swallowed up. Who are you going to give that one to? Perkarovich? There was a lot of black hats there, but uh, we'll see. Isaac Perkarovich, the outside backer, was the first guy to lay a lick on him for Fargo Shanley. Davies facing a third down and 10. 
Shanley has flipped field position here. And now deep in their own end, the Deacons, or check that, the Eagles got to go. They need yards, they need points in a hurry. Rolling out is Brewer, got a lot of time. Good catch on the far sideline. Grant Chasek hauls that in at about the 22-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds by Adam Leininger, but that sets up fourth down and about a yard. Might have been the best throw of the night for quarterback for the Davies Eagles, Gage Brewer, the senior. Had a little mustard behind that one, a good grab on the far sideline there as well by Wiermeyer. Fourth and one for the Eagles. You got to get it. Need a first down. Need a big play if you're Fargo Davies. Couple tight ends, full house. They'll motion Wurmeyer, and he's a lead blocker for Zach Lilly, and he got hit, and he fights, and he grinds. And I think he's going to end up having a first down, but not by much. Had to get to the 25-yard line, and that's exactly where they mark him down. I wonder, yep, they're going to give him. They're going to give him a first down. Let's see if we can catch the end of that is there was Lilly stacked up on that far sideline, and he just kept working. And ultimately got to the 25, and he needed one, and he got one. First and 10, Davies tries a wide side run. Chasek twists, turns, gets out to the 26-yard line. Running game has just been stymied tonight. Isaac Perkarovich and Caden Chrisman with the tank team and a sandwich tackle there for the Deacons. Clock is an issue as it's dripped down to 8, 10, and counting to play in the football game. Minor after the game, we'll have our planning team financial advisors, Shots Crossroads post game show. Stay tuned, we'll give you the final numbers, BNC scoreboard update, get some player and coach interviews. Here from Sid Sitchi Field. Fake the pitch, back to pass, Brewer, deep down the near sideline, incomplete. Good walling off there as Nicholas has bargained. Maybe did too good of a job walling off as a flag flies in. Hasbargan was the intended receiver, and it looked like Chrisman was step for step with him, but he did probably too good a job of walling him off, and Fisher Hannison was also in the vicinity. And uh, pass interference. Oh. That'll bring the Boo Birds out. Pass interference on Fargo Davies. Well, when you're down in the game and you get a call like that against you, that will get you agitated. And that's exactly what happened right there. Is I mean, I'm still a little baffled by that one, but we don't get paid to officiate. We get paid to announce. And the defense was walling off the offense. I had a hard time believing how that can be offensive pass interference. As Brewers back to pass again, they're just throwing deep balls up and down the sidelines. Oh, what a catch. What a grab. Lorenz has it on the far sideline. Flags fly in. Let's see if we can get a look at this on your Ryan family dealership replay. Nope. Is now we're going to sort out a late flag. Pass was completed out to the 39-yard line. Hold the phone. It's a gain of 26 yards out to Lorenz from the quarterback Brewer. And now we'll get the official indication here from the, the Zebras. Yeah, it's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct. Whistled against the Deacons. Well, there's, a, there's an old saying that sometimes you make one call, you get the cosmetic call. Occasionally, to, to make up for it. Yeah, I'm not saying that's exactly what happened, but it's all on the far sideline, so it's really hard for us to pick out exactly what might have transpired there on the unsportsmanlike conduct. Nonetheless, Davies is in the Shanley territory at their 46-yard line. Handoff straight ahead run. Oh, there's a burst, and there goes Zach Lilly. 20, 10, 5, touchdown! touchdown 46 yards to the house. Zach Lilly has put Fargo Davies on the scoreboard. Here's your Ryan family dealership replay. 
straight ahead handoff, and that's the first seam and wall that Davies has seemingly had the entire night. And you give Zach Lilly an inch, and he will take a mile. Davies is on the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter. 7.35 to play, and the Eagles are going to go for two. Eagles will go for the two-point conversion. Brewer will set him down for the two-point conversion. Handoff and a pass, and Malachi Wurmeyer hits his man, and... Gunner Majerus, the tight end, has the two-point conversion. Lorenz to Majerus after the 46-yard touchdown run for Zach Lilly, and the Eagles sideline has something to cheer about. Touchdown timeout, 7.35 to play in the game. BNC Bank scoreboard. Shanley 24, Davies 8. Back with more after this break on the PSP Network. to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. I wonder if you go to the onside kick here. And before we get an onside kick, flags fly and or maybe not flags fly. Play is stopped as don't know if everybody was quite set in their positions. Well, if you're Fargo Davies, you just put eight on the board. Hey, it's a two-score game. Two more touchdowns, two more two-point conversions. Fargo Shanley has Fisher Thompson out there, their extra point kicker, as he looks like he's going to attempt an onside kick. It bounces. It's loose. And flag flew in. Looked like Fargo Shanley recovered, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious what this one's going to be because it came in from way deep, the white hat, standing back at about the 20-yard line of Fargo Shanley, and now you have a verifiable zebra convention. It could be one of these situations where you got to have so many guys on each side of the football in an onside kicking situation. So maybe that's what they're trying to decipher. Let's take a look at it as uh, while we get the call. There was the onside kick. It was loose and it was bounding, bouncing, and the, the play even got whistled down right before that. It was it was almost like while it was going on. Well, started on the. Eagles on the kickoff. Wow, false start on the kickoff. That might be, I've seen offsides on kickoffs before, but man, 30 years of doing broadcasting and that one's got me, um, that one's got me a bit entertained. <laughs> False start on the kickoff. Okay, well, we play on. Well, Fargo Davies will do it again. They bounce that onside kick, and did it hit anybody? I don't think so, and Jordan Leininger, check that Adam Leininger will fall on it. <laughs> He's got a teammate. Uh, Piling on him about four seconds after Adam Leininger had the recovery. All of a sudden, a, team on, a teammate jumps on him. I'm like, okay. Uh, there's a, let's see if we can get a replay on that. Uh, nope, we missed that uh, second onside kick. But all right, Fargo Shanley has the recovery, and they have a 16 point lead here. Undefeated Fargo Shanley looking for a trip back to the Dakota Bowl. Trying for. A chance to defend their title from a year ago when they blasted Century 48-7 in the state championship game. 
Shanley, straight ahead run, Perkarovich met, stuck. Dropped down at the line of scrimmage. Okay, it was Malachi Wurmeyer. Wurmeyer on the stop for the Eagles. And Luke Rogan comes up a little lame for Fargo Shanley as he got twisted up in the pile there. No gain in the play for Perkarovich. Minor after the game, we mentioned our post game show. Within that post game show, we'll have the move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. You can find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. They can help you move across town or across the country. Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Jobberswarehouse.com. There's a straight ahead jaunt and a gallop there for Adam Leininger. Dragging him down from behind was Luke Lorenz for Fargo Davies, but that's a quick nine for the bruising Adam Leininger. It'll be third and also within that post game tonight, we'll have your MVP of the game. Sport Clips brings you that. They keep you looking your best. Check in online with a hairstylist today at sportclips.com. 6.20 and counting. Shanley can milk a little bit more of that clock away here as both teams, uh, Davies has all three of their timeouts. Shanley's got two of them. Shanley can... Milk a little bit more time away with a first down here. They'll hand it off, and Perkarovich has that run. Oh, and he is spilled. Luke Lorenz came in and upended him again as Perkarovich tumbled through the line of scrimmage and went airborne, but he picks up the necessary yardage for a first down. See that Shanley sideline is... And it's taking their time now. That play clock down to 15. Shanley breaks the huddle. You got Perkarovich about seven yards deep. Flanking the quarterback, Meyer, is Leininger, and they're going to hand it off to Adam Leininger. Runs through an arm tackle, and then he's tag teamed and dropped down as he gets down to the 30. Give him a yard. Riley Lang on the As it was Riley Lang on the stick for Fargo Davies. Give Leininger a yard. Last report we had in first half action from the other 3A semifinals had Minot High leading West Fargo Cheyenne 7-3. Three, uh, Get you a full BNC scoreboard update concluding this one. Second and nine at the 30 for the Deacons. Got a yard on first down, did Fargo Shanley, and now they'll swing it out wide. Perkarovich has it, shakes one man, turns it up, still on his feet, still galloping to the 10, down to the five. He's in, touchdown! Isaac Perkarovich! That is a yeoman's effort right there. How many tackles did he break? One, two, three, four, five maybe? Here's your Ryan family dealership replay as Perkarovich caught it right about there. There's one slip tackle. There's two. There's three. There's a run through another one. And then maybe four and five at the end here. And the power to get into the end zone, Perkarovich puts the exclamation point on it here for Fargo Shanley. Matt Berg on to attempt the extra point. Snap back, hold by Matter, and kick up, and low line driver is good, and Shanley has put 31 on the board. 4.41 to play in the game, touchdown timeout. Shanley, new score from Sid Sitchi Field. The Deacons lead at 31-8 over Davies. Back after this break on the PN, P, uh, PSP Network. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do. And we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Uh, new score here at Sid Sitchi Field. Cheyenne leads 31 to eight. New score from West Fargo Cheyenne. The Mustangs from Cheyenne leading Minot High 10-7. 
Shanley's went to the low line driving kick most of the nights. And if another up man fields that for Davies, that was Wilmot Matati. And uh, Davies will take over. Perker Robich. First and 10 at their own 37 yard line. Perker Robich will have the exclamation point here for Shanley. Well, appreciate our fans getting in touch with us occasionally. Uh, we get some unruly fans that disrupt the broadcast a little bit. So we'll turn that uh, crowd mic down just a tish for a couple minutes. Make it a little bit more enjoyable, enjoyable for everybody. Is Fargo Davies first and ten back to pass deep slingshot over the middle they hit it big play Grant Chasick hauls it in beat the coverage of Jordan Leininger see if we can get a Ryan family dealership replay on that one is big play as Davies quickly to the line of scrimmage there was Brewer back to pass he threw that baby as far as he could and hit Grant Chasick right in stride and now another pass thrown to the far sideline. Uh, apologize for that. We were Brewer's stuck in that replay for a minute. Three. Brewer looking for his big tight end. It wasn't Chosik. Uh, Chosik. It was uh, Majerus was also in the vicinity, but two receivers in the same Second spot and falls incomplete. Brewer's pass looking for Chosik. Second and 10 now in the Serve Pro red zone are the Eagles. Serve Pro trained technicians, advanced technology, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Serve Pro. Davies looking to answer that touchdown here by Fargo Shanley. They'll toss it to Chasik, who tries to hand it off. And now as Lily's pass is batted up in the air. That's got to be an incomplete pass. No, it's not. Maybe we're going to call that a fumble as he knocked it out of his hand. I thought that Lily's hand was moving forward. And the Zebras will get together here as... The ball got batted up. Lily's arm looked like it was moving forward. Yeah, no, I think that's the correct call. Is we're gonna call it incomplete. We'll see if we can get a replay look at that. Is no, oh, caught the tail end of it. Is from my vantage point, uh, it was a discombobulated play from the beginning. Is could have been a huge loss, but instead just whistled as an incomplete pass, and it'll set up Fargo Davies. In the serve pro red zone, third down and 10 from the right hash mark of the 19 yard line. Davies. Under center. Back to pass, Brewer rushes on, and they got him. Holden Deutsch. And it's fourth down. From his left defensive end position, the 6'3", 220-pound junior, Holden Deutsch with a sack and a loss of seven. Brewer that time ran out of time. Down he went. There's your Ryan family dealership replay. Back to pass. Brewer goes to the well one more time. This time double pumps, and he is belted and dropped again. They're meeting and having a party at the quarterback. Carter Mitchell was right there. As was Luke Rogan, as was Nick Keel. Everybody from that defensive line from Shanley getting into the sack party. 319 to play in the contest. And the Davies Eagles will take over. Check that, the uh, Shanley Deacons will take over after the Davies Eagles are giving the football away on downs. Well, Shanley, after the last couple years of playoffs, 2020, they lost to Century in the quarterfinals last year, or two years ago, lost to West Fargo Cheyenne in the semis. Last year, took it all the way to the state title game, defeating Minot in the opening round, Mandan in the semis, and then taking care of Century in the state championship. And it looks like Fargo Shanley is going to have a chance to defend their state title. Meyer... Flips it out into the flats. Adam Leininger Adam makes Leininger. one man miss. But that's good coverage there by Malachi Wurmeyer. And also Peter Havelka 
And now you get a timeout on the field. Hubber National brings you this timeout. Hub is a leading North American insurance brokerage. Shanley Cruz and 3.06 to play. They lead by 23 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. As Coglin took that one from his own 30 yard line, dances all the way down to the other end of the football field for his seventh touchdown of the year. Coglin over on the far side, lines two over here on the left. And back to pass the spare. We're going to take a shot up to Coglin. He's open over the 40, down to the 30, 20. Hello, 10 5 touchdown. Logan Coglin. Out of that timeout, brought to you by Hubber National Insurance, Fargo Shanley. We'll line up and have a second down and nine. Let's again stay tuned. Our post game comes up next, brought to you by Shots Crossroads. They're your post game headquarters. You can order online at shotscrossroads.com. And our post game also brought to you by Planning Team Financial Advisors, helping clients work towards financial freedom. Well, the extended pass that is a run, pass is completed Meyer on the far sideline. Meyer completes that one to Sam Oshak. We haven't heard from him for a while, and he is hogtied and slung down by Grant Chasick. Pickup of a couple sets up third down and seven. And Oshak went out of bounds there. The clock stops. With 3.02 to play in the fourth quarter. Now, one other BNC scoreboard update Grand Forks Central at halftime leading Jamestown 7 zip. Trips receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. Meyer on third and seven. He's got time. Throws it over the middle, way over the head of his intended receiver, well, Cade Busek. Carson, Carson Busek, I beg your pardon. Cade's his older brother. Coverage there provided by Liam Wicklow for Davies. And now Shanley on fourth and seven. Probably go to the pooch kick again, will the Deacons. Leading by 23 in the fourth quarter on a fourth down and seven from your own end. Yep. Myers, Myers just going to put a boot into it. Oh, it bounces at the 25. And how about that roll? 25, down to the 10, Myers down to the 5, to the and it's going to be marked down at the 7 yard line. First and 10. Make that the 7 yard line. Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 7. Yeah, Fargo Shanley looking for their 10th Dakota Bowl appearance. Made eight of them in 2A football, and this will be their second one now in the top tier 3A football. Of course, Shanley has got 25 state titles, but many of those came before we have the finals and what is now affectionately called the Dakota Bowl. This will be Shanley's 10th appearance in that aforementioned Dakota Bowl. There's a run, another big one for Zach, Zach Lilly. Started inside, busted outside, and a big gainer. The line of scrimmage was the eight, and Zach Lilly is going to rumble all the way out to the 32-yard line. Fisher Hannison will bring him down there. So Zach Lilly, the returning second-team All-State running back, getting some things done here. Late for Fargo Davies. There's that run right there on your Ryan Family Dealership replay. And while we're in that replay... Davies hands it off again, and this time Lilly, nothing doing, got a yard before he's smothered backwards by the interior of that Shanley defensive line. Looks like it might have been a big old Gavin Beam in there on the stick for Shanley. Davies gets that play off their wristbands. 2-10 and counting to play in the contest. Fake pitch, lofted into the flat for Chasik. He grabs it at the 38, first down. Brewer, Brewer connects with Chasik again. Jordan Laninger trailing the play from behind. 
And a first down pitch and catch for Fargo Davies. I'll oh, try to get your replay. That was a nice grab right there. But if uh, Davies is going quickly to the line of scrimmage, he might duck out of this replay as there was Fargo Davies getting it out to Chasik. Nice grab. First and 10, Fargo Davies. Back to passes Brewer again. Hoists it and nobody home. Way over top of his intended receivers. As he looked like he had he had Havelka in the pattern, and he also had Bennett Gerlock in the routes, but that pass was about 20 yards over the top of both of them. Clock stops with 93 seconds to play. Davies facing in second down and 10. Even when Davies, it, when they're throwing it, they're going out of the double double tight. And this time, oh, nice play. Pass, pass intended for, pass intended for Havelka again and Sam Oshak. Sweet play to knock that down. Oshak with a pick in the first half. Adam Leininger with a pick here in the second half and the Shanley defense has stood up tall the entire night and made it difficult for the Shanley Deacons, or excuse me, for the Davies Eagles. The Deacons have made it difficult for the Eagles. Third down and 10. Brewer looks over the middle, picked off again. And returning it the other way, Adam Leininger with his second of the night. Picked it off at midfield. Takes it all the way down to the 21 yard line. And Fargo Shanley will take over. And here's your Ryan family dealership replay. Davies went to the pop, pa pop pass one too many times. Looking for a streaking tight end, and there's Leininger. Picked that off, returned it down to the 21-yard line, and Adam Leininger has his second pick of the night. And now you get a couple new folks in there for, uh, maybe not too many new ones, is... Thought I saw a couple new guys in there, but nope, you got Leininger and Oshak and Busek. And it looks like Shanley is just getting into the victory formation. Snap is back, Meyer just takes a knee. Fargo Davies still has their complement of all three timeouts remaining, but I don't necessarily see Fargo Davies burning those as stay tuned, our post game show comes up next. Under a minute to play, Davies not burning the timeouts. Fargo Shanley with uh, one more kneel down. Ah, it'll be close. Second down for the Maybe two more kneel downs, but nonetheless, Shanley is gonna stay undefeated. Meyer takes a knee. There's the snap and the knee for Landon Meyer. And, and they're gonna set that play clock and that's gonna be our final snap of the game. Score. 20 seconds, seconds left, and this one is going final. A final score on your BNC Bank scoreboard. The Shanley Deacons will go back to the Dakota Bowl at the Fargo Dunn next Friday, and they will defend their state title against the winner of the West Fargo Cheyenne Minot game. Final score BNC Bank scoreboard. Shanley stays undefeated. It's 31 to 8 is your final, and our post game comes up next on the PSB Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by.
want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Advisors, LLC and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... Seniors and all the underclassmen, giving them that opportunity that we get to choose again. 
And to do it against a, a 25th Street rival, I mean, that just makes it a little more sweeter, right? Oh, nothing's better than that. <laughs> hey, better. talk about the defensive effort tonight. Let's start there. Uh, a couple of picks for yourself. Uh, what were you guys? What did you guys key on? I mean, you shut down that running game tonight. Yeah, we had to keep high intensity all game. We knew they were going to try to run it down our throats, and we had to, we had to stop that, and we did. And then when they relied to pass, they haven't done that a lot this year. So we finally got to uh, key up on what they're doing on passes. And one more at the dome next week. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to last all game this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great job tonight, Adam. And uh, let's bring in Landon Meyer. Hey. Um, We'll say that again? There's Isaac Perkovich. Oh, manage? geez. No, I'm sorry. Hey, man, I, I didn't I even looking at the numbers. Yeah, dang right I wanted to talk to you, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Oh, we'll get Landon, yeah. too. Hey, um, I mean, the running game, it was there. Oh, yeah. Busted off a big one. Talk about that run in the fourth quarter there uh, after Shanley had scored, or uh, Davies had scored, and you guys got that touchdown, and you busted that one on the far sideline. Oh, yeah, well, we needed it. We needed, uh, some energy to finish the game, and we've just been talking about stepping on the throats the whole game, and we finally did it uh, at that touchdown. And, you know, you guys have had the bullseye on your back the entire year, right? I mean, this is quite a journey, and now you guys are at the at the, at the pinnacle here by the chance to defend your title. Oh, yeah. Um, well, we accept that target on our back, and I think it drives us, and all we've been looking for is that championship game for to go back-to-back, -back, so we're very, very excited. That was pretty raucous huddle right over there. I don't know what Coach Matter was saying, man, but uh, you guys were jazzed up. Yeah, he gets us hype every single time we win a game, and it's just tradition now, and we just got to move on. We were 1-0 this week, and now we got 1-0 next week. One more week of practice and one more date at the Dome. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, well done tonight, Isaac. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll bring in Coach Matter in here and maybe Sam Oshak in just a second. You guys, uh, oh, yeah, here we go, Landon Meyer. Hey, man, uh, three touchdowns tonight. Uh, I, I've asked Michael Rosberg this and Cooper Matter and others, but is there anything better than playing quarterback in this system? I mean, it's got to be just kind of like a kid in a candy store, right? Oh, 100%. I mean, there's nothing better. You get to throw it 40 times a game, and when you don't throw it, well, you get to run it. And just to play behind my old line and have the weapons out there, receiver, and then the running back showed up hugely tonight. And just everyone across the board played great, and it's just great to see. Yeah, and you guys, you, you muddle huddled it. You didn't go no uh, no huddle in the fir first half, the entire first half. Second half, you kind of slowed it down, played a different game to stay a little uh, ball control. But talk about those hogs up front. I mean, uh, nobody really talks about them enough, but, man, that, that is a good group up front for you guys. Yeah, they were outstanding tonight. And to go in the huddle, which we're not used to doing, so the defense gets a little break, I mean, to go out there and still dominate and leave, leave those holes open for our running backs to fill, it was just great to see, and senior leadership showed up for sure tonight. Well, and I asked the guys this. I mean, you get to be a rival. You know, first time in the playoffs that you get to take care of Davies. So, hey, I don't know. Is there a 25th Street trophy? Yeah, there is. <laughs> I don't know if it was on the line tonight. but no, yeah, Okay, all right. I mean, either way, we get to keep it. So. Dang right. All right, man, good luck uh, next week at the Dome. Perfect, thank you. All right, that's Landon, Landon Meyer. All right, we're going to bring in Coach Mattern here. Coach Troy Mattern, I tell you what, uh, I don't know what you were saying that huddle, but there was a little hype going on there. And uh, good feeling, I'm sure, being a crosstown rival and getting to, the getting to defend your title back at the Dome next week. You know what? We've had an X on our back all season, and, and the semifinal game is so tough, especially when you're playing a rival game. Um, the expectations are through the roof on this team, and the way we responded, especially defensively, I couldn't be more proud of this team because when we played them a month ago, we didn't really play very well defensively, and we walked away with you know some things that we weren't happy with. but. Credit to our defensive staff, man, did they have a great game plan, you know, um, they really couldn't do anything. And we knew, you know, that, that not our style to slow up our offense. So, you know, it kind of helps, uh, got a little heartburn not being able to play fast <laughs> and, and huddling up. So, um, but credit to our kids. Um, you just want to get to the game. You know, once you get to the game, anything can happen. Credit to our kids. And I mean, that defense, I mean, you stopped the run. Davies had a season high in passing attempts. I mean, they haven't barely yeah. threw it 10 times a game, threw it almost 30 times tonight. So that had to be the focus coming in was just take away that running game if you could. 100%. You know, we, we had to keep, get them off schedule, and that's something we didn't do last time because, you know, they, they were going to try to limit the possessions. We want more possessions, so we knew we had to get off the field. And obviously, uh, we did that, and they gave us a couple short fields too, and we took advantage of it. So going into halftime, we felt very comfortable if we could get a few stops in the third quarter, which we did. One more week. We love it. Like I told the kids, it's always the last. You know, we get to put our pads away last. And, and our goal when we moved up to the big school football, we wanted to play that last game in the state of North Dakota. And two years in a row, we get to do that. So we're excited. Congratulations. We'll see you next week. And again, PSP, thank you. We appreciate your coverage. Appreciate you coming out to the eastern side of the state. And, uh, thank you. Absolutely. I'm going to track down Sam Oshak here, too, if you uh, send him over here. I know he's taking, he's taking pictures right over there on the 25, but we'll get him over here as... 
a happy group of Shanley Deacons down here as they, hey, the, the uh, 25th Street Trophy wasn't uh, on the line tonight, but there is such a thing, and uh, Shanley has it, and uh, we couldn't get out of our post game tonight without talking to this guy, uh, Sam Oshak. I tell you what, I remember the semifinal game in Mandan last or last year, and you had your fingerprints on that one, and you come out with two big touchdowns here, kind of ISO'd. Uh, what did you see on those two plays in the first half that allowed you to have some success? You know, Orlando, Landon Meyer kind of just threw it up to me, and I went up and made that play, and in the back of the end zone so I mean it was a great ball place placed perfectly so that was, it was just perfect it was awesome and for you guys tonight defensively was was the thing I mean uh, you had a pick Adam had a couple what did you see on the pick that you had that uh, allowed you to make that play yeah uh, so I was guarding their tight end and I saw him pull and start to throw it and then it was coming right at me so I'm like well it's coming right at me I better catch it so <laughs> yeah I mean, is it, okay, you're going back to the bowl, defend a title, but to beat your rival, I mean, can you can you write a script any better than that? No, I don't think so. The only better script is winning next week. Yeah, and you got a chance. Yep, sure do. All right, great game today. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, Sam Oshak, heard from a bunch of happy Shanley Deacons down there. We'll take a timeout. More of our Shots Crossroads Planning Team Financial Advisors post game after this break on the PSP Network. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers, moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? 
With Shot's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shot's Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shot's Crossroads. Well, there's a celebration still happening here at Sid Sitchi Stadium. Hope you enjoyed those post-game interviews. Kudos to the team here from the PSP Network. Shanley moves to 11-0. They're 31-8 victors tonight over the Fargo Davies Eagles. And we got a lot to come here on our planning team financial advisors. Shots Crossroads post-game show. Planning team financial advisors, whether you're working are looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farmer business succession. Planning Team Financial Advisors here to help you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit them online at planningteam.com and Shots Crossroads. Get filled up on your delicious menu that includes the famous 99. Order online at shotscrossroads.com. Team buses are always welcome. I'll get to the stats in just a moment, but first uh, I'll give you a couple of these post-game highlights. Uh, boy, the defense for Fargo Shanley tonight uh, stood up tall. And uh, here's your uh, first highlights uh, coming out of the contest tonight it was a uh, pick by sam oshak uh one of his interception heard him talking about it and then uh, our second uh defensive highlight here late in the football game you get the defensive end holding under Deutsch center is going to wrap up back to pass brewer rushes on Burke for a sack and they got there's a couple post game highlights there from the defensive side for the shanley deacons as they will get a chance to defend their state title. We'll get to that BNC scoreboard update and the stats in just a second here. As, uh, your scoring plays in the second half, there was just a couple of them as Shanley led 24-0 at halftime and then two scoring plays in the second half. A 46-yard run by Zach Lilly for Fargo Davies. Two-point conversion from uh, Lorenz uh, to Majerus for the two-point conversion made it... 24 to 8 with 735 to play and then the exclamation point the Perkerovich pass from Landon Meyer Berg kick made it 31 to 8 with 441 to play and as coach Madden said you know he, he almost uh, had to had to kind of contain himself in that second half as they went to the ball control offense and just milked the clock away and won the game and Davies uh, falls uh, they'll finish the season 6 and 5 and Fargo Shanley advances to the Dakota Bowl for the second season in a row here in 3A football all right, a couple things to take care of here in our post game, and we'll come back after one more break and give you a BNC scoreboard update and then give you a couple more of the particulars. But first off, it's our move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. They can help you move across town or across the country. Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. You can find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. And so our move of the game is brought to you tonight, uh, again, on the defensive side of the football. This time it's Adam Leidinger. How about that tip drill? The linebacker and the senior Leidinger Tipped it up to himself. Davies went to the pop pass after the near side motion. Brewers pass, tipped up in the air. Leininger intercepts it himself. He has two on the night. That's your jobbers move of the game. Jobbers moving in storage can help you move across town or across the country and they never lose sight of the big picture. Their efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management keeps everyone on the same page. Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. There's your jobbers move of the game. Take one more short time out. We'll effort a BNC scoreboard update, and then we'll put a wrap on tonight with their final game numbers and your MVP of the contest tonight. Final score, BNC Bank scoreboard, Shanley 31, Davies 8. We'll wrap it up after this timeout on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by...
Now back in our planning team, financial advisor Shots Crossroads post game show is there's a look at that bracket as we got an updated score in from uh, across Fargo here in West Fargo. Cheyenne is leading Minot 24 14. Shanley will have a date with one of those two teams as Shanley wins this one 31 to 8 over the Davies Eagles. Uh, two teams will play next week at about 6 o'clock kickoff at the Dome for the 3A title. Other games tonight in that BNC scoreboard update. Grand Fork Central in the 2A semis leads Jamestown in the second half, 7-0. And Fargo North is shutting out Horace, 23-0. There's your BNC scoreboard update. All right, here's your final game numbers. Again, on our planning team, Financial Advisor Shots Crossroads postgame show. Fargo Davies will get 127 yards on the ground, 127 yards uh, through the air. So 254 yards of offense tonight for Fargo Davies. Shanley will run it 30 times for 176 yards and 138 yards in the air. So the Deacons up over 300 yards total offense tonight. Individual rushing leaders, Zach Lilly is up over 100 yards with 114 yards and a touchdown. Grant Chasick, five carries for 22 yards. Malachi Wehrmeyer, six carries for five yards. Luke Lorenz, five carries for three yards. Gerlock has a carry for minus one. And Gage Brewer with three carries. Uh, he sacked a couple times for minus 16. Brewer threw it 21 times tonight for 127 yards on seven completions, and he was picked off three times. Grant Chasick is leading receiver, four catches, 89 yards. Lorenz, one grab for 26. And it was Parker Havelka with one catch for 12. For the Deacons, who stay undefeated, and they advance to the Dakota Bowl for the second year in a row, Landon Meyer leads them on the ground. 17 carries, 126 yards, and a one-yard TD run in the first quarter. Perker Ravich has seven carries for 31 yards. Adam Leininger has five carries for 22 yards. Sam Oshak, one carry for a minus three. Landon Meyer throwing the football tonight. Very efficient, and he got her done. 17 of 37 for 138 yards, three touchdowns. He was picked off once. Sam Oshak is leading receiver with six grabs for 49 yards, two touchdowns. Leininger, four grabs, 35 yards. Perker Ravich, two catches for 34. And... Adam Leininger, five catches for 20 yards. There's your numbers, again, brought to you by Planning Team Financial Advisors and Shots Crossroads. All right, last thing for us to do, and it's to bring you our MVP of the contest tonight, brought to you by Sport Clips. You can check in online with a hairstylist today at sportclips.com. Have a lot of choices tonight. I mean, Adam Leininger had to play as well of a game. Isaac Perkarovich did his thing. Landon Meyer did his thing, throwing the football 34 times again completing 17 of them and having three touchdowns. But, you know, it was a consensus in the press box tonight says your MVP tonight is none other than Sam Oshak is your MVP of the contest as uh, two first-half touchdowns, and this was a beauty. Corner of the end zone fade route as, well, what the heck? That's the wrong one. That was the incompletion. Just after that, they ran the same play, and Oshak hauled it in for a touchdown. So <laughs> it was uh, it was almost an identical-looking play, and somehow our production staff uh, grabbed the wrong one. So what the world? Well, nonetheless, um, we're going to get that squared away right here. Is your MVP of the game, Sam Oshak, and watch this. Okay, this looks like the same play, but watch this one. Sam Oshak, as Landon Meyer drops back, throws it down to the goal line, and it's the same one right over his head. How about that? Okay, one last try. This is what happens when it's me, myself, and I. This was the double pump, and Oshak... <laughs> It's the same one every time. Okay. Last try, folks. I promise we're going to get this right. Okay. These all look like the same play, but your Sport Clips MVP of the game tonight, Sam Oshak, two touchdowns. 
pump fake. Landon Meyer throws it to the goal line. There it is. Sam Oshak, touchdown! Oshak, the leading receiver in the uh, game for Fargo Shanley, has up over 1,400 yards of receptions now and 21 touchdowns. And the, the senior, Sam Oshak, there's your MVP of the game. Uh, took a little bit. Uh, appreciate your uh, patience there as Sport Clips brings you that MVP of the contest tonight on the PSP Network. <laughs> Uh, you can only laugh at yourself, right? Uh, you can get an MVP haircut experience at Sport Clips. Nothing comes close to making you feel like that. Sport Clips game MVP tonight, the senior wide receiver for the Shanley Deacons, and that is Sam Oshak. All right, fans, that'll put a wrap on our broadcast tonight. Big thanks to all of our in-game sponsors, including BNC National Bank, for bringing you our scoreboard tonight. Valvoline Instant Oil Chains brings you our pregame. Our timeouts brought to you by Hub International Insurance. Our Serve Pro Red Zone tonight and our post game brought to you by Planning Team Financial Advisors and Shots Crossroads. And in that post game, you get your Sport Clips MVP, Sam Moshek, and your move of the game tonight brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Great job by our staff, our executive producer, Nick Holberg, for getting this lined up. For our camera operators tonight, Luke Domries and Landon Domries, and our spotter tonight, Srinath Kanduro. Good job to one and all. That'll do it for us. Todd Domery is repeating your final score from Sid Sitchi Stadium in Fargo. It's the Shanley Deacons, 31. Fargo Davies, 8. Shanley back to the Dome next week for a chance to defend their title. Thanks for joining us tonight on the PSB Network. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <laughs> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center 
Our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through Newest Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. Newest Advisors, LLC and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. 